There we are. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, Pooch. Thank you. How are you? I'm awesome. I'm excited. We're, we're turning the corner. We're at the tail end of the whole thing. We are. And we have five fingers, right? Yeah, okay. Just checking. <laughs> Just lazy on the thumbnail. Someone says the thumbnail makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. How is everyone doing? We are in the final stage of Pooch's Trident build. We are in the end game now. We are in the end game. A few things happened off, <laughs> off camera. Um, yep. We do have Charlie here. Let me see. Maybe there. There we go. Ooh, <laughs> we got a little of that. So. That nice uh, foamy foam. <laughs> So we're ready we're, to panel. We won't comment too much on the foam on frame. Yeah, I, it sounds like you said there's two different camps on this. There, there are, and I, I'm there's in the foam, other camp. There's foam on <laughs> foam on um, panel uh -huh. or and foam, foam on, on frame. frame. Now, I feel like I'm a foam on frame guy, and you were very gracious to relent, even yeah. though this is not your preferred <laughs> style. But my rationale for that you're going to change the panels. Was that I want to change the panels. Yeah. And I think you're going to almost be better there. I think I'm going to do a smoked, like a smoked black. Uh, we do a ton of laser cutting. We got a lot of acrylic. And so it seemed like a good opportunity uh, to do that. And if we had the foam on the panels, yeah. maybe one more thing to have it to would. do. It would be a pain. So I uh, think that it is a good idea. So Matt Chammy, thanks for the gifted memberships. Sean. Hey, Sean and Sativa and BBs. Hey, Jared. I'm not going to. Hey, Laura, we got Charlie here. Yep. So not going to go through everybody, but hi, everybody. Yeah. So we've got probably about a two and a half or three hour stream today. OK, so tell them what we're going to do. What's the process? So what I did off camera is I fixed the screen. Yep. So the screen is right side up. And I want to talk about that briefly Okay. because it wasn't as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. So I want to cover what I did. To really? Fix it. And it was really easy because documentation out there is great if you know where to find it. If you know where to find it. <laughs> if you know where to find it. Okay. So what happened was is I went through the normal manual install process um, for the um, clipper screen. I'm going to bring up the clipper screen docs here. Okay. So clipper screen docs has a installation process here. And I went through the manual install because you know me, I like to do manual installs. Um, it went all the way through the end and the normal expected result is clipper screen will just pop up. It didn't. No, no screen. And I didn't even have a clipper screen log on the Pi. None of that was showing up. Interesting. But if you go to troubleshooting page here, they have a link right there, troubleshooting page. And I went through here and this exact um, scenario that they're talking about here, this can't open virtual console came up. So I followed these steps and went through and followed these steps and it worked. So it looks like there's a permissions error or something. Yeah. I had to get yeah. adjusted. Yep. Uh -huh. So I just went through here and then it came up. Well, good. Okay. Now to flip the screen, I followed LDO's documentation. So if you go to docs.ldomotors.com and go to their guides, mm -hmm. there is a touchscreen setup for Clipper. And in here is, I think it's down here is some um, rotating your touchscreen instructions. And these work straightforward and I just followed those and it worked. So it's just a, a, an edit to the config.txt. Yep. And you set invert to one or zero or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there's some or? here, right here. The D display LCD oh, rotate, rotate to, and then a D2 overlay to put in after you comment out this this other line. Touch screen inverted equals yep. one. The instructions okay. are all right there. Perfect. So what do we got here? Derek, thank you for the gifted memberships. So and right set up. Derek, thank you for the fiber. I'm ready for my first June 31st of my life. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Coming up in three, what, four days. Remind him what's happening <laughs> on the 31st. I have no idea. Oh, you haven't decided yet? No, I haven't. You've run out of, run out of things a, to do. It's a Charlie's Angel stream, but I don't know what we're doing yet. Something tells me you'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out in the next day or so. <laughs> Will this Trident have a French cleat on the back? Yes, two, probably. Two? Two okay. or three. Two or three. Yeah. <laughs> and who knows which way? Like, either so I can hang it on the wall or hang things on it. Yeah. Right? Maybe both. Yeah. You never know. Options. Hey, Ballistic Tech. Hey, Bill Brothers. Hey, Apollo. I love French hey, zombies. And hey, zombies here. Yeah. So Thanks to be up there. Saw Murph, right? Oh, absolutely. Who's sporting my tea? 
At least he was on the the la he when he was heading home. Yeah, he decided to order at the airport. And I saw that the thing because that was the You want it? You want? But I appreciate right it. You want to sleep right here, just for the people. Or you can come up here. <laughs> okay, do you know what was changed from V0.1 to V0.2? The major change between V0.1 and 0 0.2 are the skirts and mini stealth burner. Mini burner. Yep. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. So... Turn it on its side carefully. Well, yes. But let's power it on first, and we'll set up all the stuff. Then we'll turn it over to. Oh, okay. So all right. Got power here. If you want to yeah. shift that over here, and what do we want for camera? Probably here. Okay. You're just not gonna have it, are you? Powering on. Look at that. I got my little RGB. Yeah, we should be able there. to. There. Oh, we get a boot screen. Get a bit. Look at all that. Beautiful pie. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Boot screening. Hey, Dave. What do you know is we need to see as much of Charlie as we can while we can. Absolutely. Poking you again for your... Oh, yes, up below. Uh, I, will, I will get to that. I need to... I need to just get that file over to you. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Dave. So, for those that don't know, because um, I've mentioned it many times, is Charlie went in to have surgery for bladder stone removal. And unfortunately, it turns out it's probably not a bladder stone. It's probably, um, it's a math in there. So at this point, seeing as he's 16 years old and has kidney disease, we are keeping him as comfortable as possible for as long as possible. Clipper so. has encountered an error. Yep. Open. And that's normal. Okay. So sorry to bring that up right now, but I know I'll get a lot of questions. Um, Clipper has countered an error because we don't have a printer config yet. Right. But we want to put firmware on the controller first. So let's do it. So everything's been there. Jeff, thanks for the gifted memberships. You think Charlie ready to put some firmware on here? He's inspecting it. Inspections first. Uh -huh. So. Getting all the pets. Yep. Okay, let's go off to this screen and let's bring up a command line. Oops, I gotta let the stupid. <laughs> the keyboard wake up and we are going to SSH using the Pi username to and I called this Trident.local you can rename it if you want sure but and it, I will. it's Trident all right so, Trident. and then yes we want to store that and then the password is a password I'll tell you about later okay <laughs> ah, you don't get to know my password Thank you, Dave. It, uh, Charlie is 16. He's, he's been a good cat, and I'm glad to have shared him with everyone. What do we got here? Pathetic Puma. Thanks for the gifts and memberships. He's insisting on going to the other part of the house, so let me let him out. Okay. I'm just going to scooch this over so I can see the... To give him the screen. option of doing what he wants. <laughs> Yep. Sounds like what cats do. Yeah. What they want. <laughs> All right, we got our terminal screen up. Yep, so we have a terminal screen up, and we are going to follow the Voron documentation for um, the octopus. So I'm going to grab this link and throw it in chat so folks can follow, follow along. along. Any plans to look at load cell technology for Voron tool heads? There's all kinds of things we look at all the time. Okay, so this is the Octopus Clipper firmware instructions for from the Voron docs. It's just an easy place to get to it. So we are going to follow these instructions and we're going to go over to... Okay, so see the... Clipper and make menu config. I love it. We're making it all. What we are basically doing here, and I think I think everything shows well on the screen again. Yeah. So we're gonna enable low level and then we're just gonna match all this. So we have an SDM32 processor. Mm -hmm. We have 32K. Oh, it's the STM446. So 
four, four, six. six. Yeah. My contacts are a little funky. Bootloader offset is 32K. Yep. 12 megahertz crystal. Master crystal. And USB on PA11, PA12. And then nothing else we have to do. Wait. So then if we quit to save, and yes, we're going to save. So I think all of that is correct. So now we can make. It is not an octopus, bro. This is a regular octopus. But the instructions are the same. What's the distinction between the Pro and the standard? I think Pro is capable of 48 volts and might have a couple other features. Ah, very cool. I've never actually owned the Pro. Hmm. So, only done... Did I get a haircut? I did. Right before, right before Murph. You can clean. Yeah, a little trim on the beard. Yeah, man. Yeah. Got it going on. This is going to run through its thing. And then we're, I'm going to grab it with WinSCP. You can run a copy command to... I want to update that. You can run a copy command to get that um, file over to the config directory. Mm -hmm. But I always forget what the exact command is. Actually, I wonder if it's here. Firmware installation. Probably. Not that I see. Okay, so this is, this is done. So now we're going to create a new site. Oops, packed an extra character there, I'm sure. Yes. Now we're going to go into Hi. Clipper, sir, out. And then this clipper dump in here is what we want. So, I'm gonna grab a. Next, food needs to build an earth blaster. <laughs> I've done two uh, Project FDL um, blasters, which were a lot of fun, but I, li I really liked the one you had the manual pump action that was a lot of action a lot of fun didn't you yeah. see the fun the Nero and I had with them no I didn't tell me so we uh, we took our blasters and we were the um, the nerf herders a nerf herders um, the scruffy scruffy yeah, nerf, herders. Yeah, it's nerf herders for yeah. the death racer um, yeah. competition nice. we, we were attempting to um, knock heads off but the mass of a dart just isn't enough just not enough huh? just not enough that'd be pretty crazy if, if you added a sniper element to the whole thing too I like yeah it. i like it so we got a few darts stuck in tracks and oh okay. um definitely um accidentally it's a mayhem hit um maybe sam and and those sure a couple, of, couple of times i'll bet he loved that <laughs> okay i'm gonna throw this on the usb oops There we go. Yeah. On to the USB. Does it not part. exist? It's, it's right there. And then we're going to rename this to firmware. Did I spell that right? Yes. Firmware dot bin. Now we can grab that. We're done with that. Grabby, grabby. Hey, Dutch dude. Hey, Teza. Hey, Steven. I saw so many people there. It was awesome. Save. So many viewers. Um, no, I don't want to see. Just close it. It was awesome. I chat, got to chat with so many viewers. That's awesome. Steven is one of them. Steven Mikado. Make RS. And okay. So this has the magic firmware on it. Okay. Is it time? It is. Potato. Well, we can let's turn shut it down because I am a high oh, yeah. shut down one. And we can do it from the on the menu here. Yeah, system. Down, post. Power down. And Apollo. Apollo is the one who gave um, Nero and I the first the Nerf kits. Oh. Got to visit with him. That's awesome. Yeah. Is he in the chat? He is. Oh, cool. Yep. They make our essay push in plastic. Okay, so we're going to uh, put that FDL over and we're going to Yeah, the FDL3 here. is a pretty rad build, and I went with the long... I think the, the build you did with the 
the blast you have is using the shorties, right? So now you're, we're just being really careful here. When yeah, I just don't want to tear up the foam. But it, it is kind of nice because it holds the skirts off a touch too, right? It so. keeps from scratching my nice table. Yeah, it, it was gentle with it. Oh, you put the base panel on it too. I did. I yeah. did. It's got a bottom panel. It's got the bottom. So that magic happened off screen as well. Yep. Uh, so those four front ones, and then it hinges out. Four front ones and hinges out. Got it. Yep. That's an interesting... Uh, Oh yeah, after hours, Nero is shooting down drones with his. <laughs> that sounds like a fun challenge, right? Just get a bunch yeah. of those cheap little he, tiny... He got it several <laughs> times. Like skeet shooting. There was a little tiny whoop that was flying around that he was shooting at. <laughs> did I see Digital Dragon's Mercury at the KB3D booth? I did. Oh, now tell me about that Voron on treads that I saw running around. <laughs> it wasn't so, on treads, it was just mobile. So the shirt I'm wearing is actually from that. The quadrangle. Yes. Okay. So this is a, um, I, I, I'm probably going to mess up a few details here. Okay. Um, but it is a um, high school first, first robotics um, team. Yep. And that is one of their platforms. And the idea was, is that we were bringing the fastest printer. The fastest, the game. fastest it, it moves fast. Now, now the question is, can it move faster than Mitch can run? And could it? <laughs> it moves pretty damn fast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did Mitch and it race? I don't think so. Okay, this is a little. <laughs> that was still a question. Yeah, I, I may, I may just undo this USB just to get in there a little easier. Oh yeah. Yep. I'm gonna tuck that guy up here, and I'm just adding our recently flashed. Oh, these things are so tiny. I want to drop it into the nether regions. There we go. Okay, we're going to put our USB back in place. <laughs> USB-C. Are you looking forward to seeing Nero make the Tico go burr? Yeah. That's interesting. It's a very old, very... Yeah, where, what was the story behind the Tico? Where did that come from? And who Someone brought... had it there, and I think and Nero traded one of the printers he brought for it. I don't know the I mean, whole that's... story. It belongs in a museum! It's uh, a, oh, yeah. a classic <laughs> piece of 3D printing history, right? Yeah. So this um, this Voron on the platform yeah. that they were doing, the very first time they it turned it on. It didn't have a name? It, it, uh, I don't remember. You don't remember the name. Okay, all right. <laughs> it, it made a break for the door. All it, it, just, it just took off. It, it just took like, off. <laughs> peace out. So Dr. Dave on the on the team, he's kind of the mentor um, lead for this, for this team. Uh -huh. And he was there, and he just about had a heart attack when that thing went off. Because it ran in, it was about running into people. Unfortunately, it was stopped. Yeah. But it was gone. Wow. That's hey, Max. Fun. That's fun. Max is here. Hey, Max. So, anyway, I, they gave me a shirt. Um, I was very I love pleased it. to have it. Did you pick up any other good swag? Um, a few things. Some filament. Um, I think I brought home, like four extra shirts. I feel like that's the secret when you go to these things, like you have to leave space in your luggage for bringing home stuff. Yeah. Um, yes. Whether it's stuff you're buying or trading or whatever, and that's always hard because especially fil film, it takes up a lot of space and adds to your weight substantially. Fizzy Apple, are you Hazel? So one of the recently graduated students was there with Dave. My name is Hazel and it was very nice. Very, very um, enjoyable to be around. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. Yes, that is. Look at that. You're enjoyable <laughs> to be around, Hazel. Here's the Apple 12. Awesome. It's a rave review from Steve Bills <laughs> himself. Cool. Okay, we're booting. My, uh, I, I can uh, feel it in my voice. I can definitely I feel can it tell, in my I voice. I can tell you've got the, uh, the, the trade so show much talking to you. Let's see, and I can play with my contrast down here, right? Hey, Steve Bills, if I can get a hint what to check for a problem I'm having with my trident. My prints are taller and it's not a slicer. It's your rotation distance for your Z drives. Your rotation distance for your Z drives. You need to make sure that it is matches the lead on the lead screws that you're using. Yes, you do. So that's probably, and, and 10, five to 10% 10 seems a little off, but it, it might, I, I would suspect it's a little more than that. Too many rotaties. 31.6 instead of 30 millimeter. That is odd though. I would still be checking the rotation distance and see where that's at. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you're, the combination of that and the- I was the, say it's two settings, the, isn't hmm. it? 
if well, they don't you, do just a basic steps per millimeter like Marlowe does. Correct. There's rotation, rotation distance, and then there is the, well, there is the steps for rotation. The the step for, the so it's either 200 or, for a 1.8 right, right, or 400 right. for a 1.9. Right, right, right. right. Put my channel. The one that mowed down all the death racers. Yeah, so the, okay, during the death racer thing, they took the, the robot out there, and it's it's going to do that. Yep. So we got to do our printer.config. Okay, so we're powered up. We go over to... We're going to go over back to here, and we're going to reconnect. Okay, I'm reloaded. And now we're going to see if it's come up. Can't, it's brought up. So we're just going to... List, um, slash serial by, oops, get all that right. YID. YID. It's YID. Yeah. There it is. So that is our octopus. So you see it's the STM uh -huh. at 446. And big old. So we're going to grab this whole line right here. Serial number. Okay. I'm going to go to our anymore we're gonna go there all right in dot local oh good dr dave's gonna be at rumor it's no. a good show good what? show so if we go to machine here so i did a i i I grabbed the printer config from my Trident okay, good. So and we made some line. tweaks, and we're going to have to go through and do some additional tweaks here. All right. But the very first thing we're going to do here is go in here and paste that serial device that we copied. Yep. And then we're going to save and close this, and we're going to rename this file. Just I just grab, put it standard. to that. Just yeah, yeah. Good baseline, and then we can talk about what's changed. Config right now? Yep. So now we can we can go and for more restart and see what happens. Reload. Uh, are you going to Earth? Yes. yes. In fact, I just paid my sponsor fee today. Well, I just signed the contract today. They will invoice me. I'm sure the sponsor fee is coming up. Uh, but yes, that's confirmed now. Awesome. So I will, I will be at Earth. I will be at Earth as well. We'll have okay. a booth. So we have an MCU shut down ADC out of range. Mm -hmm. When a heater temperature exceeds something, are we all plugged in? Configured everywhere? min temp or max temp. Okay. We're gonna we'll make sure that we back. have the correct ports that we're using for um, temperature settings. So. Okay, so let's. You want to check the firmware first, or you want me to check hardware? Let's. While you do that, let me get a screwdriver. Oh, you need a screwdriver for that. Yep. Uh, while you do that, I'm going to bring up the LDO wiring docks okay. to see if we plug them into spots that aren't normal. Co kosher. It's possible. Mistakes can happen. So we got folks saying loose connection, chamber thermistor. I don't think I've defined a chamber thermistor. Uh, we did. We did hook up. I feel like there was a CT hookup. Where would the where would the chamber thermistor be though? Did we not? Oh, that's right. We might not have plugged it into the... That's very possible. Um, that's this guy right here. Let's find out. Let's see if it's that easy. That would be nice. That would be this guy. And this guy is going to plug in... That's CT. Yeah, that's going to be CT right there. Yep. Let's just restart firmware and see what happens. We got it. Cooper has disconnected. Oh, no. Still ADC no. out of range. I think it was up with a sneak peek. I will check that out, Kyle. All right, we weren't just, we weren't that lucky. Okay. Chamber, so the chamber thermistor is no longer on the tool head board. There's a connector for it. There used to be a, a little surface mount thermistor on there. They went to the external. That should stay there. We'll tuck it up into the um, cable chain. Sure. Um, mm. Coming out one thermistor at a time and see which one, see which one is throwing the air. Well, let's first double check. I'm going to go back to the LDO docks. We're going to yeah. root and Voron yeah. and Trident kit and the 300 wiring guide. And I want to see where we were supposed to plug in the. Um, 
F T H O. Oh, hold on. Is that chamber thermistor? Is that I can't XN stop. You can just unplug it. You can get a better view at it. I think that's an XN stop. Oh, okay. They're, I think they're right. This is an older. This is the afterburner cool head board. So never mind. Yes, that's actually yes. Yeah. Hard to read. Yep. Okay. So, so it could, not, could well still be this then. Could well still be something. But let's go down. It's always and, something. <laughs> and check our. It's always the last. Check our thermistor wiring. So I'm going right. to scroll through here until we find the low deck where we plug things in. We need to go below board, under board again? I think we're going to have to. Okay. Leave it unplugged if you want to flip it on its side. I'm going to shut it down or go hot? No, go hot. Going hot. Coming out one thermistor at a time. I don't know that we can do the hot end. I think it still needs the hot end thermistor. That is not the right. There you go. Thank you. Okay, bed thermistor. Controller per position should be PF3. So let's go in here and check our printer config. Here we go down to our thumb thermistor. screws would be a nice add here. Might be. PF3 is what we have. I mean, hopefully you're not going in and out of this a ton, okay. but. And then I think I like the nice other one, screw. It's the, board, the breakout board, so oh. PF4 should be the hot end. PF4 is the hot end. I don't see any reference screening that says PF4. I mean, I can see all the heat shrink that has labels, but I can't tell you if I'm in the right port. Clipper logs and see. I don't know that we'll have time, Kyle. We gotta. We have to go through the whole normal setup. So I, I don't know that this stream we're gonna have time to do it. But I promise I will cover that. I meant to do it on the Mercury One build, um, but I will do it on a build. What's that? Clipper log? No, camp, which is the um, bed mesh in just the print area. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So let's look at the clipper log. Or can I open this with? I think these breakouts? Ew. Was it part of one of these breakouts? Because we got three open ports on the breakout. The chamber thermistor is actually wired. There is a chamber TH right here. I just got 20 minutes ago dealt with that and my chamber thermistor was reporting minus 50 C, so out of range. There's um, it's very... Let's, do I have a chamber? Let me see if I have a chamber thermistor defined. Um, let's go here. Where is this going? Where is this going? See temp. Z Pro. Sensor type for extruder. Step or neck. Heated bed. Stored anything. And that's just that. Bed thermistor. I don't see Here's any, CP. I don't see chamber thermistor defined in the config. So it's got to be either the bed or the. This is all. Ah, ah, what is it? This, did, this isn't plugged in all the way. So we weren't seeing it. Is this not seated? No, we got yoink. It was like that when I left. It was not like that when I left. It was not like that? No. Let's see if that was the problem. Okay. Paint sale, Moonraker, Clipper. Oh, still, still airing out. Okay, so you said the chamber uh, heater was not defined. In chamber the chamber thermistor isn't defined at all. Okay. So then it's either our bed or our hobbit, right? And is the is the label correct on where it's plugged in? Well, 
Let's see. Uh, that's what I couldn't tell you. The the labels are on here. I've got hot end thermistor, bed thermistor, and then the closest ones to the chip. But I don't know. We'd have to pull up the reference thing. I'm not sure. You said temp min to something like minus 200. They will show up in the doubts board. Let's try one other thing though. Let's plug that in to the bed where the bed goes. Okay. Just a hot swap. Yep. It's like the old scuzzy hot swap days. <laughs> Uh, okay. LDR's Octopus Configs. This is based on that, Sean. It's the config I used on my other LDO Trident board. Okay. Let's do a firmware restart. Just want to see if it's wiring, if this wiring to the bed is weird, and it is. So look, we're we're set. So we've got wiring to the bed. Thermistor is wrong. Something's oh, off. Look at with that. The, look at that. Huh? I'm gonna put it under my tongue. Uh. <laughs> Up is going up, up is going down. Okay, so there's something wonky. So something wrong with the, the bed, bed wiring. Heater wiring, and I don't know if it's something. So right let's here. follow. This this plug just seems weird to me the way it is. All right. So let's go ahead and shut it down. Shut it down. Here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shut the printer down. We can reverse that, and I'm gonna look up the. I mean, we're going to pull this off because I suspect it's something going on here. Okay. We can close up the bottom so we can probably flip it on its front again. I wonder if we didn't land in the in the Wagos correctly. It's not the Wagos, it's these two JSTs there. So okay. That's the bed thermistor. Yeah, I'm just trying to see where it breaks out because it comes down to here and then it goes up the main. Or no, that's the through. bed. Yeah, the bed's all on its own. It doesn't bed, go through bed the. Bed is all on its own. Doesn't go through the breakout board. Where's so the there's bed? something. So that's coming direct. So you're right. There has to be something going on between those two. Yeah. So let's, here? Yeah, let's set it up so I can pull this this breakout board off. You want me to seal this back up again? I guess so. Turn off. Yeah. Might as well. So we know it's the bed thermistor. Okay. And the really quickest thing without doing anything was just to plug in that chamber thermistor into it. It's good troubleshooting. <laughs> good troubleshooting. Okay. Go ahead. A little tippy. All I want to do is be able to look at the other side. Let's go here, maybe. And then let's pop this. Wire out. Look at the pins. The the, the gold handle. There. Pull this out. So what we can do, okay, let's do this. Let's grab the bed thermistor. Yep. Plug it in right here. Maybe we have a bad splitter there. Or maybe we have a bad bed. bed. Power it up. Power it up and see. We'll check the bed, the thermistor type as well. That's a good idea. Yeah, I was gonna say the, the, the thermistor type you think it's the same as a chamber thermistor? That well, it's the be... NT. It says right there it's the um, the NT whatever, the 104 NT. Mm -hmm. So it, it should be. be the same as my Trident. Should it's be. the same bed, same heater as the config I grabbed this from. Yeah. So the therm type should be set properly. Try again. Is it coming up? It's thinking. It's thinking. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> You've come to talk to me again. So, you know, I've gotten three copyright hey, claims now. There we go. Oh, not because, from you. Because no. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're you. good. Okay. Okay, so that's a bad sign. That's not good. That means there might be something wrong with our bed. Might bedding. be something wrong with the bed. But you think we inch something or? That'll, that'll crash it. Let's plug in this back. Oh, we did again. bunch all these wires up here, but I mean, this. That one's going fine. Seems clean. 
Let's try again. Give it a little, little rubber mark restart. Would be nice if it was just the therm type. Maybe we got something weird where we got a different thermistor type. No, it's not coming out. Let's let's check the therm type. You got no love. Hey, Joker nut. No joy. If we ch plug the chamber therm into the breakout under the bed, it does not. It works when we do that. So we so that, that excludes this. We know it's not the ports because we used that and we got a good read. We know the the breakout board to the controller is good. We either have a a, a bad crimp setup in this connector. We have a bad thermistor, or we have a bad solder joint. Something along Let's the go line. down to. Or it's a different thermistor configuration. Peter bed. It's the 104 NT. That's what it should be. So let's pull the bed off and see if we can see any. Boo. Okay. Yeah, very boo. Very boo. Just made our night longer, didn't it? Maybe. That's all right. Well, one way or another, yes. The question is, did it make it too much longer? Mm -hmm. Why don't you go down? So I wanna... All you have to do is remove these three yeah. M3s. So, and then I'm going to pull our Wouldn't be the first time and it won't be the last time a bad thermistor has ruined my day Not ruined my day, my day's still fine, I have a pretty good day Yeah? I think so A lot of it on the phone. A lot of conversations happening. Promising. Okay, so that's off there. And then need to this guy loosen the ground screw. Hey, Latian. Okay. okay. Is that all that we yep, need we're, to? We're free. No, 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 no. We're not free. There's a tie here. Okay, now I think. Yep, we're free. Let's give it a little visual. Okay. And I'll, I'll grab my meter so we can at least test resistance. Uh, I on see that. the problem right away. What? Look at that. Well, that is a problem. So well, that's let's fixable. Solder it, I that's guess. Fixable. That's strange, guys. Oops. I don't know why. Here, let's show uh, overhead cam. We have just a, a broken wire. Broken wire. Okay. We can fix that. I wonder if we did that or if it was just like that. I don't know. Don't know. We have the technology. Get some heat shrink tube. Um. Yes. I you have to. high temp silicone heat shrink. <laughs> Maybe we. It's can. not gonna get that hot. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. It's there's an air gap there too. That sucks. Like might have to. All the computers in my shop. Maybe we can set Air this gap. on the floor and we can set this on the floor. Printer. Printer. Yeah. Stop the weller. Here right. is good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. This guy out. Hey, Troy. Today, yep. Atlanta. We got a broken light wire. Ring for your enjoyment. I'm going to. There's a knife if you want to. At all. I just pulled its coat off. Okay. So this is interesting. They did like kind of a butt, like a butt joint crimp. See why? Why would you do that? I think the proper connection there is probably a crimp because of the temperatures, but I think it'll still be okay. Mm. I think it'll be okay. Um, okay. This okay. is hold on. We got an alternate. Have a lot of space here. We got an alternate solution. We're gonna we're gonna go with that. Let me see if I can find it. I have one of those. No, I have one of those. There's an internal probe. There is a spot there for a thread in M3 thread in thermistor. But we can go with that instead and actually get a better reading anyway. They'll give us so, better because we don't have a lot of room to work here with I the know. leads we've given. And, yeah. So let's let's try this first. Let me be right back. Okay. I, I bought one for mine, but mine is a pre actual release and, and so they accidentally that no it actually has it but they accidentally drilled it to four millimeter uh -huh. <laughs> so i can't use it i'll be right back put a helicoil in it i thought about it <laughs> i did i did and i may still do that but but not with not if i have your thermistor you won't not a cheap i'll replace it for you i'll be back okay uh 
Uh, what made us choose the Trident over the 2.4? I'm not sure what the pros versus cons of each model. Um, I'll tell you what made us choose it. Uh, I had the help of the one of the key designers on the project right next to me on the Trident, so he was a little bit biased. Um, but I'm already bitten with the bug and really eager to do a 350 V2.4 build next. I would love to have... I, I have source of a lot of debate, but I believe that 350 cubed is a pretty ideal size before you start getting into some really large, extra expensive stuff. So, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? Like if you if you had to pick the sweet spot, 300 cubed is pretty good. Um, it feels like there's a number of things. We run a Prusa farm and there's a number of things these days where it's just the Prusa is just not quite enough build volume. So we got the XL, and the XL is 360 cubed, if I'm not mistaken. And that's great, but expensive. Uh, different tool set, obviously. The only real, like, commercially supported tool changer, really, that's out there. Um, and I know, yes, I know that E3D has a tool changer set up, but when I say commercially, it's probably mean, like, firmware updates and support, whereas the tool changer by E3D is very much a you're on your own project type machine. 350 is the highest that would go, says Sean. Yeah, that seems about right. You start get it starts getting wonky, right? You get into that um what is it, the inverse square law or whatever when it's like everything just as it gets bigger it just gets more complicated. Deflection from uh, heat uh thermal properties and the mechanics of it and all that stuff uh 500 rat rig because you can do droid domes in one shot 480 yeah so I, I mean i'm sure there's use cases and certainly there's much bigger builds i mean there's you know meter cubes and all that stuff and it's not to say that it can't be done it's just like what's the sweet spot in terms of like the cost versus the amount of space that it takes up versus the you know maintainability I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Bill Brothers is fighting with his 350-24 right now. What do you mean when you say you're fighting with it? Like it's giving you, giving you fits. The 350 it weighs in about 60 pounds. It's good. I like mass. Mass is good, right? Because then you can go fast. Um, the yeah okay, I mean I'm I'm not looking to carry these things around you know once we get them set up hopefully they stay in one place but yeah it's not it's not easy to just rearrange things I'm sure the motion system is not right the borons are not meant to be built larger than 350 yeah yeah I can see that and you know we've seen that you know the 24 it was teased at Rocky Mountain and so it's like it, it can be done but not uh I think there's a lot of debate, right? Like Core XY and its efficacy falls off when you start moving into larger formats, as I understand it. So you still see a lot of the standard, uh, you know, stepper slung on the gantry and more of the traditional stuff. Uh, got a 300 2 form regret doing it as a first Voron build. I wish I had started with a 1.8. Yeah, that, that was the other thing. I hear that the 2.4 can be a bit more finicky, so starting um let's see bob's asking on the tt box under the xl did i relocate the side sensors i did bob i actually uh went to mauser and got an extension cable for the filament sensors so bob's talking about the the filament runout sensor is mounted on the side on the left side by default on the xl and uh because they're designed to have a spool mount on the side uh, and you can imagine how cumbersome that gets when, I mean, it's possible, but they've got it so that the breakout board for the filament sensor can take three inputs on one side, on each side. And uh, that makes it challenging if you're trying to route from any other position, right? So it was a relatively inexpensive uh, cable. I want to say it's a Molex and you can get them in all different lengths, but I, I rerouted it around back so that it could go up and around. I will tell you this though, more than you guys asked, but there is still a filament runout sensor in the tool head itself. 
And in earlier firmware, it was able to operate without the side sensor. So best I can figure, and I haven't, I haven't heard from Prusa why they did it this way, why they had a secondary. The best I can figure is that they want more early detection of a filament run out than in you know the point where it gets to the tool head. But it is possible because there is a sensor and they use that sensor for pressure and um, load cell magic as well. Uh, this happened to me with a kind of CAN bus build. Ended up just running wires. Couldn't end up finding the problem. And people have given up on CAN bus. So I heard as I was leaving, someone was asking what made you hit Trident over 2.4 or whatever. What was the right answer? Well, I said one, the, the, my biggest answer was we have a biased party here that helps the main design <laughs> and I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. And since uh, you're offering to help and it is infinitely faster having you just go, yeah, do this, this and this versus me have to go through all the build guide. I said, yeah, sure. Um, I, I can't find it. Uh oh, okay. So, so we're going to have to repair. Okay. I know I have it. I know it's right under my nose. Um, what I'm thinking is we put a little loop in here so we don't have to try to stretch that. Yeah. And solder that in it in, in place. I think that's going to be our best bet. And I'm probably clip this butt and then strip it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That way we can we can get just a little bit of extra here. I got I got nice you there. Got I forgot to grab um, heat shrink tubing, so I'm going to go grab that real quick. Okay. We'll try to get this going quickly. I think Triangle Labs has an M4 thermistor. That would be neat, Neil. I'll have to look. I did a search and didn't see anything. So let me just okay, I'll be right back again. Right off. He's gonna tell me I'm doing it all wrong. Come on, baby. Nope. you're doing it wrong. I don't know which gauge this is, and so I was just kind of YOLOing it, guys. Don't yell at me. All right, that's a good strip. This looks like it's a single conductor. I guess that's, yeah, I guess that's right. Huh. All right, well, we don't really need that much. And let's strip our loop. Do the teeth stripping. Let's see, what other things? Uh, da, 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 plastic people, we call them prefer it polymer people. Thank you very much. Polymer people in the house. LED traffic flooding the CAN bus. I had, I had issues with some LED stuff on like an old what was that printer the uh the artillery interestingly enough um they had those ribbon cables and they were using like multiple conductors of like each of the cables to carry more current than they should have and because they were so unreliable when i tried to reroute to wire a bl touch into it the what is it? The solen? Oh, you found it! I did. After all this work. Yep. Did we get it we done? We could have redundancy. We could have redundant thermistors. You and could. Compare and contrast. You could. This should be more reliable, though, huh? That uh, should. I mean, it'll, be, right, it'll right be more in accurate. The, right in the middle. I, I favor accuracy. Okay, so then what we'll end up having to do is... Uh, I, I got all the stuff. Redo that. I got the stuff. And we have the technology. Yep. And this should be long enough to reach the plug, I think. Let's see, soldering it on the bed shouldn't hurt, it's just a resistor. What do we got, Neil? What are you trying to puzzle? Oh, to, is that the Triangle Labs thermistor? Could if they you, sell one, I'll find it. panels for Repbox or do you outsource? Oh, if you do, we do cut our own panels. Uh, if you do own, do your own, do you also do printer panels? Um, we don't have, we have done printer panels in the past. We don't currently offer uh, any kits, which isn't to say that I'm opposed to it, but the way we're set up for production, we 
are not well suited to do one-offs. And so if it was something that was common enough, um, it would not be hard for us to offer panel sets. So I'm all discombobulated. Okay. I grabbed um, JSTPH terminals. I got to go grab JST. All right. I'm at, we're having a good old time here. So awesome. I'll just play with this while you're doing that. Uh, are you just looking for some custom cuts? We have a lot of laser cutters. My problem is is labor and, uh, like I said, the efficiency of... I'm the only one that can, like, flight and um, set up the cut files and stuff at the moment. Which isn't to say that it couldn't be trained, I just haven't. Uh, these are one-wire leads, but the printer is running on barf leads that generates a significant amount of EFM, EMF in traffic. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Cellulose is a polymer, but not a plastic. We have no cellulose people here. Ah, hmm. Interesting. Yeah? You got me on an actual age on, technically. Uh, let's see. Bill represents that. Hello. Let's see. Are you kidding? Not true. Yeah. Actually. Well, this will be fun. I don't know. Maybe we should just solder it. No, we're going to use our nice little terminal so we can disconnect things properly. Boy, he really does not strip a lot away when he does that. Maybe that's intentional. You got your crimpy crimps? Is that, a, is that enough strip? Oh, yeah. I only, take, I only have a tiny little spot. Yeah. Oh, Foldo. Nailed it. I wear the crimping ain't easy shirt, but it's not true. Big, big crimping. <laughs> I'm in Central California, so it'd be nice to have someone somewhere local to support. Getting ready to start a VZ bot build. Cool. I really want to do a VZ bot build. Still working on the details of that. Vizzy, vizzy, vizzy. Can't you see? Okay, and this guy. Put it in right there. No. Oh, John, I'm gonna do another classic joke. Now we're even better. Okay. Well, do we want just give it a tiny, tiny, a, 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 a half a ugga? No, like a, a, like a 16th of a ugga. 16th of a dugga? <laughs> I gotta get me some more of these nipix. Sucks. I need some at home. What's that? Like nipix. 300. 300. That's not going anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do with that. Just leave it. Tear it out. Okay. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll need it again someday. Fix it later. You're going to come and steal this from me at some point at my shop. <laughs> I'm taking it back. Okay. Get some of this. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. It happens. We have bed fans that are with the screw and thermistor reading. I doubt it. <laughs> What is on your shirt? This is the quadrangle. Mm -hmm. um, first, is it first robotics, right? First robotics sounds right. The first order of first, first robotics. First robotic team from Illinois, Dr. Dade's team. All right, before we get too far into it, let's just lay it on there, plug it in, and make sure we're clean, and then I'll button it all back up again. How's that sound? Great. Basically, plug everything in. Yeah. And yeah, plug the back power in for me, too, if you want mine. Hit it. I'm mean, hearing you from a different mic. It sounds like it. You might have turned that off when you came in. He's probably picking up turn on it back on. It seems to take forever to turn on. Yeah. Reboot. Power on. Yes, you were hearing me from a different mic. Now it should be fixed. Moss better. A little water. Yes. Hydrate. 
People hydrate. So the um, several, I, I don't, you can't see it on the back of the shirt, but several of the Voron Design team donated parts um, for a Trident for this team. And they put it together and they use it. Sweet. And... Now it's probably a beta 3950 or whatever. It's gonna be a different thermistor. So we gotta reconfigure. Yeah. Generic 3950 or whatever it gets set as. Oh, we booted. Mm hmm. But we the just, temperatures are get quite a, a bit off. We're not gonna get a good reading though. Yeah. So let's go here. 25, I don't think. No, I don't know. And then we're gonna go down to the. I have to go to work, but I want to check in for the giveaway. When do you think you will do it? Um, we'll do it at the 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, which is two, an hour and a half from now. 26, 27. An hour and a half from now. 28. So we're going for... Is it changing? Well, I, it, I got it to go to 26, but it's, it's definitely not as responsive. So... Generic, what is it, 30, is that right? Is it generic 3950? What is, what is that value? Have to look it up. Yeah. So if we go to the Clipper docs and view the documentation and I search for therm, oops. Therm. Thermistor, custom thermistors. And where was it? Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. There was a either generic temperature sensors. That's yep. So what are common, common thermistors. thermistors? Generic thirty nine fifty. Okay, that's I think that's what it is. Yep. Generic thirty nine fifty. Good memory. Save and restart. Clipper. See, ya, Ivan. I know. I'm sorry. It's late for some of ya. Mm, let's read in twenty five again. Let's see. Is it reading 26? <laughs> Are you gonna, you're not gonna stick around, Charlie? You're not gonna lay in your bed? Here, close the door. <laughs> so it's 26C. It's 26C when the Wow, the, that is says quite the, different. Says the extruder is it? The extruder is 38. 38. Yeah, Which, come up there inspect. That, that doesn't inspect. sound right either. That it sounds almost 100. We got great meeting you at Merv. Such a great event filled with amazing people. Yes, it was. Very much so. Some flip floppied. I'm going to check the thermistor definition for the. For the. Oh, you know what? Let me check something. I've got, I think I know why. We go down to the extruder. Mm -hmm. I have a, a pull-up resistor to find. So let's change that. I've got a very specific reason I did that. I think it might fix it. So I have a different pull-up resistor to find. I'm gonna start which... cinching the bed down because I'm confident we're- There we are, see? Yes. Yes, that's what it was. Okay. My fault. You are forgiven. Maybe. Every time she hears you say Charlie, well, he's right here. So you, why did you, you had a pull-up resistor set up for your uh, Trident? Because I have a tool head on my Trident uh, that I'm I testing. I see. And based on actual thermocouple results, I was not getting values that I thought I should be. Okay. So I adjusted the pull-up resistor until it matched. Hmm. And it seems to work well. Okay. But I'm not quite sure why I had to do that. Okay. Well, <laughs> working is good, and then explaining is even better. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm a hey, Ricky, so a fan of you should not do magic you do not understand. So. <laughs> do you use a label printer, and if so, which one? It's a brother. No, it's like the P600 or something like that. 
It's got a QWERTY keyboard and a color display. I love my label printer. I've got a brother as well, but I can't tell you what model. One of those doing the heat shrink labels is awesome. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good quality of life improvement. Get a little, little Charlie shoulder time. So we don't need to like button those down. No, too far, no, right? they we don't get gotta... it. Just holds it in place. Yeah. Okay. All right, and you got those. You got everything. No, we got to put the ground back. Yep. Here's the ground screw, and it's this driver. Don't need a mess. We're gonna need some zip ties again because we snipped, we snipped that one. I go there. And then this is going to go to you know, screws onto there. Wait, so wait, wait. Where'd the ground, where'd ground you go? Over here? Yeah, it's on the other side. Which? Oh, over here on the right there. All right, I just turned it around. <laughs> Turn oh. around. Let's shut it down. Okay. Ricky B, thanks for being a member. And Troy, thanks for the gifted memberships. Boop. 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 A Sean Connery impression. Do you have a Sean Connery impression? Only borrowing it from B. Do you have the beast in your sights, money penny? Here we go. Uh, menu. No. Yeah, menu. Menu. System. Oh, system. Shut down. I am not. Oops. This, this is new to me. There we go. It's new to you. Well, this is gracefully this, shutting this, down. This pie. Is new to you. <laughs> just yank. I just pull the plug out of the wall, usually. <laughs> or I go out to the main breaker and just power everything down. <laughs> are we still on for a June 31st member stream? We are. What we're doing, I have no clue. Zero idea. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have some idea. You have some idea. You're lying. I got a few things I can. You don't lie. I got a few things I can figure out. Yeah. You should get your CNC running, man. I know. Let's name it CNC Music Factory. Play some music. <laughs> get the steppers going. Yeah, yeah. Make it play some music when it runs. Right, okay, where is my where's my uh, two little M three right there? Emetress. June 31st, yes, Pathetic Puma. I've declared that June has 31 days this month because I need to do a June member stream and the only Saturday available is June 31st. That's right. <laughs> the rest of the world might refer to it as July 1st, Lame. but that would be July. And that would mean that July gets two um, member streams. So oh. July gets its own and June gets one on the 31st. Your logic is sound. Mm -hmm. Logic is flawless. Perfect. All right. How about a zippy? We're going to put this zippy new da. Get this cleaned up because it's now perfect. Okay. It is going to be 105, I know. Luckily, I have air conditioning. It's supposed to be hot this weekend. <laughs> hey, Chris. Just hunker down. I'm going to go sweat it out. The world is clearly not hanging out with the cool kids in Steve's stream. That's true. What's wrong with them? We have a good old time here, man. We've been troubleshooting. All right, and now we're... Back to where we should have been about 35, 40 minutes ago. Yes, this yeah. is true. We're right. going to finish this. Yeah, we are. Let's um, leave that there and we can button, button that up. Button that guy back up. The other, the other driver. Yeah. Oh, hey, Eric. So E. Bigford in here is uh, one of my very best friends for since the last place I lived. You got your bestie? Yeah. Your BFF? Oh, sweet. He is where my, um, are you going to go? Okay. Then why don't we lay here? 
keeps scratching, but he doesn't want to cross the, the threshold. <laughs> the scary threshold, huh? Maybe he's a superstitious cat. I'm saying up to 115 in Woodland. Dang, that's too much. Much too much. We had we had a, t a decent amount of rain for June earlier. This has been a strange beginning to summer. Yeah. It's been pretty mild, actually. Like I'd actually get up and it would be in like 40s up where I am in Auburn. Cool. And then yeah, this is gonna be such a nicer summer though with the, the so. AC. No, I'm well, yeah, the yeah, AC. Yeah, you're with your <laughs> with your future comforts. Yes. Yeah, no, it's. It's gonna be hellish for everybody without AC, but Steve will be fine. Did you hear we had a um, tornado watch on the last day of Murph? No. Yeah. Was that? Was it? We had every. We, we were. We were. Really, yeah. We were at Goshen Brewing Company, huh. and everybody's phones lit up with huh. a um, with a like, um, tornado look, watch. Look out! A severe storm warning. Yeah, yeah. Winds up to 80 miles per hour. Stay away from windows. All right. There apparently there was some tornadoes that touched down in Indiana, but wow. no, not where we were. Well, it is the land of it. You just go then. Okay, what's next? <laughs> we we have... are configured. Let's put the back panel on. We have config yep. and. Oops, that's loud. Yeah. We've got enough. Uh, We've got enough Ford. We've got enough Ford. Yeah. We've got enough Ford, guys. All right. I got a back panel here. I'm going to. So you are the. You peel, are talented at the peel of those. Peel up and away. Up and away. Oh, 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 it's there, there. Hold on, hold on. That's, that's recoverable. Christopher, thanks for becoming a member. I really love this that one. matte finish stuff. That one, that one, and that one. That one, that one, and that one. 115 means open air ABS printing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Woo! There you go. That works. Did your driver set in a printed holder? No, that is a special machine. Machined holder. Holder. By Fabrico. By Fabrico. Yep. Shout out Fabrico. Thank you for being a sponsor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Goshen winds never hit anywhere near 80. Awesome. Nailed it. I don't know that way. <laughs> okay. Oh, so staticky. Is it getting your hair? Yeah. My hair is way yeah. too much gel. Yeah, yeah. No, I got it. <laughs> there there? We go. All right. Yeah. Okay. Christopher, thanks for the gift of memberships. So that goes up. This way. Uh huh. So we got a little thingy. Okay, so we got these and these. Okay, do we start at the bottom? What do you like? I usually do. do. I usually put I'll one put of the corners in, in and then in slide the middle, it or no? back. A little back. That helps hold it up. All right. We'll do. Play your game. Nothing like a little Charlie fur on there. Oh, yeah. Good, good measure. I'm going to start sorting these because there's two sizes no i feel like this is pulling it into the channel you don't have to you there don't have go. to tighten those down very much just Let hold it, it in place it's interesting okay because they don't like two nuts these I, I so one of the things i did off the stream is i put some you thread did, locker you did do that on the which does make it a lot nicer yes yeah. i will give you that a little bit Still not great, but it's not not great. It's the best thing we can give. Do 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 do. Love my stream beats. Are we forgetting the foam tape step? We are not. Uh, we have gone we, counter to my usual pre, and we pre -foam the have pre-foamed the frame. Don't tell Clee. Tell him, tell Clee. <laughs> Boydy, welcome. The reason being, even though it went against Steve's every fiber of his being. I'm going to put the side panel. 
Yeah, you can put a side panel on. Uh, is I think I'm gonna I'm gonna replace the side panels with some smoked acrylic, and uh, I didn't want to retape them, so I said let's just put it on the frame. And I said I don't know, that's highly unorthodox. I said I don't care. I do what I want. So I always check the panels and make, make sure. sure the, well, I make sure the bow out is out. Yeah, lace is out. The lace is out equivalent of uh, acrylic checking. <laughs> I put the thread locker on the screws for the um, for the panel clips. Yes, you did. That way, it gives some resistance on the on the T nuts, so that it engages engage T nuts. Yeah, I'll fix that. That was a little wampus in the caddy fashion. Righty tighty until they crunch. That's how you know the panels are secure. Sure. Get the extra crunchy panels. I think you shorted me one corner piece. Huh? This, this back has four corners. It does? Yes. It is a trident, one though. Those, one of the special three-cornered tridents. It is a trident. It should have three. The tri... Yeah, it should have three dents. No, that's the tribent. The tribent? Yeah. To be but it has far more than three dents. The tribeca? Engaged T-nuts just sounds wrong, yeah. First T-nuts and preload nuts. Oh. Nice trick for the hammerheads. Yep, that, it's a nice trick. I will, I will give him that. Steve, I've learned a lot of things, I feel like, from you here. It's good. Yeah. The, the hope and the intent. The teach. And likewise. Teach, the pooch can be taught. Okay. Hammerheads. Hammerheads. Not great, but... That's right, so hammerheads are this style. Then you've got T-nuts, are those the slide-in? Yeah, and then you got the ball spring T-nuts. And the ball spring, well, you have post the roll, install and free install. Roll in, roll and in. there's yeah. leaf spring style yeah, the as well. Yeah, the Mithumi leaf spring stuff is really nice. Primo. Those, those. If you can use those, if you can, if you can afford those. They're like fifty cents each. Those are not or something. The, the, the tea nuts for poor people. Mm. The baller, the baller tea nuts, the baller leaf spring. Idea for the June thirty first planning the Trivent rebuild, new printer part colors, etc. Mm. It's not a terrible idea. I do need to rebuild that thing really badly. Is a bed mesh range of 0. 0.106 millimeters good? 0. 0.106. 0. 0.106? That's, That's I mean, not a bad. tenth of I a mean, mil? I mean, a tenth half a layer height across the whole thing? It's pretty good. That doesn't seem bad. It's, the it's, it's not, not rookie numbers. We can shift these to center them later, but just to get the panel. I was going to say, there's got to be something where you're, you know, how you know you're dead nuts on your clips and stuff. Well, I just measure between here you and just, here. Of course, you just measure. Here to here. Well, there's no eyeball. You can never just eyeball it. Well, if you eyeball it, it'll probably be right on. I do have a pretty good <laughs> eye. We can test that later. Let's we'll see how far we get, then, if we're having fun. So this side's done. We're going to leave the top off for now. Okay. So, do you want to put the other side on? Yeah. We got enough. We got enough slacky. We're good. Pretty, pretty straight panel. But this is what I would do for the inside. Yep. And you can pull the whole thing off if you want. Whatever. It's not bad. No, I like, I like your I like your idea. I like this, and then I pull the whole thing off at the end, or you can pull it off when you get back. I'll just, I'm, just gonna do, I'm just gonna do the periphery yep. so the clips are not pinching down on the filmy. <laughs> okay. 
That's good stuff, man. They're like even beveled the edges on it's this. It's really, thing. yeah. They do, a good, they do a good job. It's good because I, I literally just cut myself on oh. a sharp edge of a rep box the other day, and I thought, hmm, well, that's not good. They actually chamfered the edges on this. I wonder if they machined it. It looks like it's laser cut, but they must have done a chamfer pass on it. Yeah. Nice touch, LDO. They've got some sort of little sweet machine where they go, no. <laughs> Putting the film off is the best part, so it's satisfying. This is actually yeah, really good so film, much. too. This is not like the... It's got kind of a... I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, so go ahead. I can set down on here now. Okay. Drop this. Sides on. She's they're coming together. She's a beaut. Work. Teamwork makes the dream work. Sure does. You must be dreaming because I got the best looking trident ever made. It is a pretty sweet looking trident. Yeah. These colors are you on. So you don't deny that it is the best looking ever made. I don't know. You can't deny that. It's, it's my top, top four. Top four? Okay. Because I have three of them. Yeah. <laughs> So this looks thicker. Huh? They are. So the, so what, there's some argument to be said that we probably should have gone with three millimeter tape all the way around, yeah. but on the sides, giving more room for the MGN rails more and clear. stuff, we wanted three millimeter. So the brackets are a little thicker and we use 12 millimeter screws instead yeah, of eight. I think that's safe. I can, I can, I can dig it. Dig it. Yeah, I'm just taking my sweet time. No, you're good. You got those? Yeah, you and, you and Max both rubbing in on and having that Ultra. I want, I want one of those Ultras so bad. I'm so tired of the, the Ultra. Crummy battery life on my wall. Oh. <laughs> also, did you, what did you set up your extra button to do? Did you do the flashlight? Nothing yet. Oh, you got I'm going to use it for laps and running. Uh, okay, well, you could do that. Max showed me he made his the flashlight, which I thought was pretty handy. Hey, Chris. Uh, so it's a high or buy. What's next? Do your Tridents have your logo? No, but they need it. I'm nice surprised after the dentist. Oh, I gotta go to the dentist. Mm. Um, next week. Day after 4th of July. Ugh. Yeah. But oh, wait a minute. Sure, that's kind of cool. There was the missing one. So where is it? Oh, it goes over here. There we go. Oh, the top. Have one more the top. underneath here. One, two, three. We need one more. Um, Did it get under them? Is it further? Uh, yep, it's still under there. There, there you go. Are. That's for the top. Okay, we're not doing the top yet, though. No, because we're going to do um, extrusion uh -oh. calibration. And it's easier to do it without a top panel there on a Trident. Sure. <laughs> Certainly. Okay. All right. Let's do all of our first startup yep. button test stuff, and then we'll put the doors on, the top on, and then we'll print. Love it. So we got this guy here, and I, of course I can't see the Screen. display at all. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to switch places? We could switch places. Let's do that. We can do that. I want you to see what we're doing here. Yeah. Well, it's easier for me to see this way. This is your water. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Now I can't see chat. Oh. Well, I'll, how about I'll, I'll, I'll be chat to you if, if you know, let's say. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to come see, back what here. What kind of hair three? gel do you use? I don't know. The number five hold stuff at Target. <laughs> you want to hit the, hit the three? On hit the... three. Three yep. has been hit. Okay. The number of the hitting will be three. <laughs> so we're powered up. And try again. Now we are going to do our first checks, things like... I usually want to check end stops. So on okay. this, I'm just going to move the tool head to the back corner. Okay. 
And in mainsail, you come mainsail over here. Mainsail tell you if you're engaged. You go to machine, there's an end stops query here. Oh, nice. So we should get X and... Hey, that's Sandy. Y is not triggered. So why is Y not triggered? Why, why you oh, don't... because I wasn't pushed all the way back. Why you no trigger? Okay. Oh, but it's not real time. You have to hit the refresh. Yeah. Lame. Have to hit the refresh. Lame. Now it says that our um, tool head is triggered right now. If we push this up and refresh, it still has, says triggered. Are we getting a light going yeah, on yeah. there? Yeah, light went on. Light went on and off? Yeah. Okay. So we got some tap issues. Let's check our um, config. All right. Now your yours is configured for tap as well, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, but I'm not sure that I plugged into the same spot we might have for here. I see. So we followed the instructions. So let's go back here and see where we um, we plugged in for probe. So where did we plug in? It's down here. So e motor thermistor. We would have plugged in for probe. ABL. EG15 should have been probe. This is the holder you got there for your Allen drivers. But I really love that holder. Yeah, it's machined. It's, it's machined, machined aluminum. It's not a, it's not, yeah. It's not printed. This is a regular octopus, Jared. We don't have a pro. Yeah, we're not pro. We're... It says PG15 is what we should be plugged into. Let's see what we have it configured. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> So Z and stop. Oh, with virtual end stop. So now let's go down to probe. Probe. PG15. Okay. You think we miswired it on the board? I don't think we might have miswired it. Which means we'll have to flip it over. Uh, okay. And check again. All right. Because we should be. It's always something. Yeah. You, you want to double check that the sensor, let's do it again. Just Yeah, to, I see it changing. So so the, the LED is exhibiting it correctly, but you want to see the mainsail is, do that, that reading again? Yeah. Go there. So it says we're triggered. triggered. We should not be triggered unless we're here. Correct. Okay, so, so I think so is that the correct the... open state will show triggered? Yeah, huh. when, when it's configured, right? I think we probably have the wrong port. All right. All right. On mm. to your side again. Once more into mm. the breach. Mm. I just kind of wish open sauce had a one day ticket option. Yeah. It's not cheap, huh? It's not cheap. <laughs> You're good. You're good. You're clear. Clear. Are you taking them out? You don't even need to take them out. You can have them seated in the thingy. This is true. Hello, Nuno. Okay, what do we have here? Z probe, right here. Z probe? Yeah. And that is the second one in? Second from the, okay. the closest to the Ethernet jack. Let's see if I can bring out. Where did my mouse go? There it is. Oops. Going both days anyway, wife approved. Well, that's good. I'm glad you got wife approval. Let's go. It's not there. Cream. And. Did we. Okay. Maybe I don't have it. Let's go. B T T R. The build is going relatively well. We're, we've kind of had some troubleshooting. We had a broken thermistor lead. We had to chase down. Right now, we're trying to figure out why the Z probe is showing triggered. So we suspect we might have put plug in the wrong port. Download that and open it. Enhance, 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 enhance. Okay, so this is where we're plugged in, right? Correct. There, right. Yeah. That should be. Well, that says PG-10. Oh, well then Where's that's PG not PG-15. Oh, PG-15 is back in the corner. So we should be... You can just unplug it and put it in the... I will, I'll do it. So hold we on, should hold be on. here. That is PG-15. Oh, that's... that's no, we gotta go to the next. Here. The second one in, or we can go in the end one. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, Ooh. the end one closest to the edge of the board. 
Just this one. Here. Okay. Okay. Let's check it now. It should work, right? Is there any reason why that wouldn't work? I don't see why not. Okay. Lights changing. Well, let's. Yeah, I was gonna say let's check let's it before check we it. button it up again. Here. Open. Open. And then. Triggered. All right. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. We didn't plug it into the right spot. Yep, that was a pebcac. Let's see. Wife told me I should get an XL. Steve. Oh really? What is the? Your wife, why is your wife excited about it? I mean, I don't disagree, but I'm just curious what got her excited about it. Okay. Now I can flip it back up, up top. All right. Watch out for my LED clippies. <laughs> Didn't do it. Didn't did. do it. Didn't do it. Not gonna I do it. I have plans to use ACP panels and was gonna do heat shield product self adhesive for the inside of the installation on the 2.4. Your pros or cons? Hmm. The 2.4 is reflectic surrounded already. Hmm. I don't know. As long as you can clear everything that has to move. I mean, if you're putting heat shielding on it anyway. Mm hmm. What would you like? Unless you just want the aesthetic of XCP, you're going more expensive because it wouldn't look as good as if you were using. But if you use an opaque acrylic, you can save some money and you don't have to machine. You have you have the ability to machine your own ACP. ACM, I think, is what they're called. ACM, ACM, ACP's a handgun mode. <laughs> 45 ACP. System saying it wants upgrade. What what system, Teza? We've got, oh yeah, we've got upgrades here, but this is within days. I'm not gonna go through and upgrade it again. But I want the latest. <laughs> I want the nightlies. Okay. I think we can home it. Let's home it, homie. I'm gonna switch this would be again, technically I can't a, actually see. This would technically be our, <laughs> our first actual motion, right? Yeah, I think we can go... Should I do it from here? here. Or do you want to go through the... Uh, or does it matter? Well, we want to home axes individually. Okay. So we can troubleshoot them. Right, but yeah, oh, I still I'm, can't do I'm that from camera. Here. Can it? Will it do home X and home Y? Yeah. Oh, it does. Okay. Go for it. You want to do X? Yeah. X. Awesome. And Y? We have home X. Home Y. We no have home is needed. Home, home Z. Z. Awesome. We're, this is really wonked. It is. That's the technical term. Yeah. Borked, <laughs> wonked. Discombobulated. Awesome. Okay. At homes. Now, what, what, so is there a tramming procedure? Or is there that is. Because but what I want to here. But I want, what I want to do is make sure that I changed everything we need to in the config. Mm -hmm. So let's go through the config real quick. We go to printer config. I don't feel like we celebrated appropriately. We got motion. We're, this is true. We got this yeah. is true. Okay. So we have. Uh, position end stop. So I've, I've got it set for a, um, for a 250. A 250 right yeah. now. So let's go ahead and comment those Jared, out. Jared noticed that. Go down to. Oops. Careful, guys. I've had yeah. issues with connectivity if everything isn't up to date. Okay. Yeah, it'll it'll be okay. It's it's days old. Steve's not worried. Go. We got some. Look at that. Okay, we got so that's three hundred. Awesome. And then we have um, position end stop. Or this is Y. So comment those out. What are we doing? I can't see. Yeah. So we're we're changing in the config. So this, oh, the, the, the default config has stuff in here for all three sizes. Sure, sure. Um, so just comment out the ones that you So there's a 350. Oh, well, if it's a yeah. 350, 2.4. Okay. Correct. Well, the, there's a Trident, a default Trident 350 config, just LDO doesn't sell LDO that. LDO doesn't sell that kit. Yeah. Okay. 
And then we've got our, we do want for position max for Z is probably, we're gonna go 290. Mm -hmm. It'll probably hit like 295, but because the LDO bed is quite thick mm. and these um, whopping puckered um, yeah, we got a little kinematic extra. mounts. We lost a little Z. Lose, lose a little. Hmm. Uh, 300 cubed. Mm -hmm. Close. We are a rotation distance of four. And then the other thing we want to change is down in our Z tilt. Probe. It's fine. That's all fine. Fan. Power fan. Our Z tilt stuff. Mm. So this is for the 250. So let's highlight all this. And if we hit control forward slash, it'll have momentum. Nice. And for the 300. We hit control forward slash it'll uncommon and comment them just why not and the then down here on the bed mesh i did this because there isn't a default config for bed mesh oops there 300 yep. build and and you do a five five matrix oh and then our is that homing override huh you do a five yeah. five matrix on your mesh i do okay oops one 50 and 50. Okay. And do the same thing down here. Ah, swing and a miss. Yeah, I can't actually see. Okay, you, have, you need 120 on Y. Here you go. It is zero. 150? Okay. 150, 150. And then I think that's it. All right. Save and restart. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm really liking this. I haven't played with mainsail before, but I'm liking what I see. This little widget interface, the UI looks pretty dope. Yeah. Well, let's get the main camera on it and let's do a home all. Okay. Home all. Do I have, yep, I got the main camera on it. There we are. I'm sure you're aware, but we can't see anything you do on the bottom of the screen on the left hand side. Oh, sorry. I am aware, but I don't always remember. Okay, so it's homed. Now we can do the Z tilt. So the Z tilt is the three point yep. bed trimming. Yep, just hit Z tilt. Not no trigger go. action probe after full movement. No trigger. We lose it. Maybe so we were the, so. Oh, we are pretty catty wampus. Come up. Let's let's try it. Let's release the Back. steppers. Got actions. Disable steppers. So we're gonna manually get it somewhat closer and try again. Actually, let's go down. There's a I think we might have been too high on the rear Z. Yeah. There's a config we can change to change that tolerance, but it's going to spend most of its time pretty close to level anyway. That's within reason, I'd say. Your probe should have zero for Y position. It doesn't have zero for Y position? Let's see something. Someone mentioned a thing. Can you hit three on the yep. screen deck? Let's go to printer config and um, probe. Y offset should be zero. You're absolutely right. Y offset to? should be zero. It was set to 25. It was set like it's a um, uh, inductive probe or a clicky or uh, something. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks for that catch. Good catch. Thanks for the catch. Okay. We're going to uh, here. We're gonna try our Z again. You mentioned it a bit ago, Jared. Well, I didn't catch yours. I'm not oh. as good a catch Must as home. you all. All right. Home Z. What? It wants me to home Z before we, it'll let me. Oh, you just home all. Z tilt. Oh, yeah, it has to be homed. It has to know where it is before I can well, go. Well, I, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> before I can know where it's going. That makes sense. Yeah, you can't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been. It's fun to watch. <laughs> I'm like some sort of weird bird. 
Uh, we may be at a oh, no trigger one on one. probe after full movement. How many? Are we just way dipped in the back now? Our tolerance is way off? That's a little weird. Okay, hold on. Let me try one more time. What is the value I should be changing on that? Or disable. Actions, disable motors. Where's your level? That's right. Just okay. to see if we can get past it. We'll tweak that. Home. Home all. It looks like it looks like it home malls anyway when you hit home Z. You didn't restart the printer after the update? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it definitely restarted. Yeah. Okay. Z -tilt. Okay. I wonder why this is I don't it's the same config that I use on my See it like that. I think it was just I just think the back was way dipped. Too far down. Just too far out of its There's a value we can tweak to make that better. Oops. Did you see it do it? Yeah, I saw it adjust. <laughs> That's so fun. Hey Nanny. I'm gonna check something because someone says I didn't change it and I, I wouldn't be surprised. I always have to double check myself when someone says I didn't do something. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, okay. Hmm. What homing speeds do you use? I think these are 120 or 160. I just put my homing and should it be probing further back on that that rear? It point? could. It figures it out though. The math, as long as we identify where that probing point is and that where the where the pivot point is. So the pivot point is where the GE5C mm -hmm. bearing is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so it does that right. So now we want to um, probably, well, here, here's what we normally do. As I go through, on the Z with LDO lead screw steppers, I use seven millimeters per second homing speed. It's nice and quiet. What is my, what is my Z homing speed? I'm gonna drop it 50. What did I set for Z? Z homing speed. Is that a X, Y, Z homing speed. Oh, plus is down. Oh, it's three. So I do that for the. This is inverted. That's probably from the probe accuracy tests. What? Well, that makes uh, Z plus. I guess it makes yeah. sense because yeah. it's like going You're increasing down, your Z value. Like I want to go the way the arrow is going. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> okay, so Clipper. The Clipper Docs right. has a um, configuration checks page. It's kind of handy. There's also a similar thing on the Boron Docs and stuff, mm -hmm. but I just kind of go through here. So the next thing we would probably do is make sure that our fans are working totally. and do a PID tune. Yes. So you might be able to go in there and turn on fan. Fan? Yeah. And just turn your part fan up. Okay. 100% on the part fan. Yep. And it turned on. Heard it. Hot and fan is zero with the. Yeah, but if we. What we do? Oh, I pushed. You, you, oh, you, you did an emergency button. stop. Now you have to click firmware restart. Oh. That's the E stop. That's the E stop, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was looking at that as a uh, errored out on the fan, but it's because mm -hmm. we didn't have the. the, the okay, the so we, we can check our hot end. An, an easy way for that is just to do a 50 and the hot end fan should turn on. Um, it did not, so we've got a problem. <laughs> Move on. Really? The heater's not actually heating up at all. Did it and it's probably because um, your, your default configuration is probably different from mine. Okay. So let's go back into the configuration and the pinout. Now, LDO has us plugging the heater into the bed, right? Yes. So that's probably what's going on. So bed out is PA1. Is that what I'm seeing over there on the side? Right here. Where are you? Right here. 
Yes. EA1? EA1. Yes. So if we go back to machine and this is probably a difference in my config versus the LDO. Mm. And if we go down to extruder, heater, PA3, heater Pro, PA3, yeah. so change that to one. PA1. All right, let's get a little. And save and restart. All right, excuse me. Now that doesn't explain why the fan didn't turn on. The fan should have still turned on. So what is going on with that? Why didn't the fan turn on? You want to swap those out? Go ahead, you can turn it on then. Something to do over. Oh, do you have it already? Uh, yeah, it's in oh, yeah. Just putting the obsidian in because we're going to run the glass fill for our first print. <laughs> but I am curious why the fan did not turn on. Maybe you already have. Do it again. Yeah, and it's not. Uh... But it's heating up at least. Oh, our heater is working now. Let's figure out why our fan didn't turn on. Um, LDO has our hot end fan in PE5. Okay. So let's look at our config. Our fan. Hey, look at that. I, I sick roll. Voltage jumper on the fan. PE5. 5 volt. This is uh, voltage. I don't think there's a jumper on these. Oh, for the for the controller. Um, they sh should all they were all set to 20, 24 volt. All right, well, let's see what we PE5 is the correct output according to the LDO so dock. We wire it into the PE5. Yeah, that's the question. Um, okay. So, yep, we got to turn it over again. <laughs> Should not have put the bottom panel on yet. That was bad juju. <laughs> bad juju. Okay. Once more into the breach. All right. Uh, can you bring up that yep. reference diagram again so I can see which? I don't remember which one's PE5 off the top of my head. E5 should be that one, the second one over. So this is fan. That's PE8. Fan, yep. is so PE5 is. should be this one. Second one from the bottom closest to the block. I'm going to check the tool head side while you're checking that side. Okay. Second one from the bottom. I've got HEF. Uh -huh. It looks like it's in the right one. It is. Okay. What is the voltage jumper for it? Uh, it's on the top. Are they all on the top? They're all on the top. Yep. So that so should be correct. PCB fan. Is that yeah. running? That is not. We haven't. I don't know that we've defined those correctly yet. Okay. Are we correct over here is that's the question. A, that's a good question. What's this one? Hot end fan is over Assuming here. Assuming this is the... The part cooling fan, but I can't see the, the label. Yeah, this is PCF. Yes. Okay. Um, this hot end fan is right here. Hot end fan is here on the breakout board. I. Fan line come on when you heat it. That says this is LED. That's fan LED. So we've got how to fan and LED. Oh, do you? That's the problem. That would be a problem. So where is it supposed to go? It's in the hot end fan. Go. Floor. Well, duh. But <laughs> which one is that? C I think we've got a breakout board problem, folks. C fan. Should be HEF. Should be labeled HEF. Okay. Might be able to bring up a picture of the breakout board. Who put that there? <laughs> oh man. There's not a lot of slack on that line either. Should I grab one of these? 
so we can reference the ports. Yeah. Be helpful. It's I can really go get it. Yeah, it's hard to see. I'll be right back. Oh, you unplug that. Yeah. H E O, here it is. H E F, I see it now. Just don't have enough slack to get there. So, what are we gonna do about that? Uh, all right. You gotta reroute. It's weird. Why is this one of all leads? So short. Getting warm now. All right, hot and fan. Give ourselves a little bit more slack there. Pull that through. Just jump into the race a little further up stream so we can read Let's... note to ldo we would like a longer lead for the hot end fan please just a i don't know maybe four or five more centimeters that would be lovely hey okay, thanks bye i got it you got it yeah Oh, we're gonna test it, but I'm. It's in the HEF one, but for some reason this lead is way too short for what it needs to be. So I said note to LDO, longer L, longer lead. Well, we we wrapped. So I ended up having to short. Like if we didn't come all the way, like we could come out here and yeah. go straight down. Yeah. But I just kind of jumped. You got a little, a little bit of a little bit of space, but you found it. Yeah, I think so. So we're just gonna test it now. Is it ready to test? Yeah. Yep, awesome. So I think a bunch of my screws for the base flew out when I active. <laughs> you gonna set up macros on on his clipper? No. I want all the macros. He's gonna learn. And the micros and the macros. Um, hey Thrasher. I need. What? I need more of these eight mil screws. We lost two. Did you lose them? I think they went over there. Because you left them in the in the panel. And they. Cause, cause well, you, it was, it was a solid plan up until I, I had to pull this. Oh, and then I forgot to put this back on. Oh, you might as well. You better do it, otherwise it's never going on. Somebody probably yelled at me in the chat for it, too. <laughs> Someone needs to mess that wiring up a bit. Um, Where did I... Let me find you another screw. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think we're getting over there where it went. You know, I don't lose screws when I take them all out. I Somehow I doubt that that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Good to meet you too, Richard. Macaroni. He's a mac. Macaroni. Macros is a whole rabbit hole by itself. Ask me how I know how. Yeah, but they're super handy. Oh, yeah. He doesn't like macros. I've been doing macros since the early days of Excel. <laughs> we're good? Yeah. We're ready to go up? Yeah. Think, and then we're going to realize something else is awry. 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 Okay. All right. What else do we need to test? So this is why bottom panels are a pain. Yeah. It's okay. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Okay, what else do we need to test? We got our fans. So we all that you know, hot and heating. Yep. That's good. So we're we gonna do, we're heating? gonna We don't. Let's do that. Yeah. Well here. Heater bed, I'll just set it to something nice and toasty, like uh sixty-five. Eighty percent. 
Let's see, percent power. What's 100 percent power? Like 110? Well, no, that's what it's giving it. The the max full speed. It is heating up. So oh, go ahead like and the, cool down. The, the duty cycle. Go ahead and cool down. I think you can feel it on the bottom. But we don't want it to heat up because we'll want to do a PID tune in a bit. Sure. Um, so our order of things here are going to be a little weird. Okay. Um, we are going to do a PID tune on the hot end real quick okay. because we're going to have to heat it up and we want it to be somewhat in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. um, so we can do our extrusion Correct. Um, calibration. E steps. And then we'll put the panels on and we'll do a PID tune on the bed. Roger, Dodger. So uh... if you go to the clipper docks tab, which is the second tab from the left. Okay. Yep. And if you scroll down to, there's a PID, PID and then tool. copy that PID calibration in the second paragraph. Yep. This guy? Yep. And I don't think we're, I'm actually showing anybody this, so now we will. Okay, copy that. <laughs> so copy that and then go back to the, to the console here. Okay. And we're going to tape it. that. And we're going to change the temperature to, let's say, 250. Target yeah. heater extruder, target 250. Mm -hmm. Dodger. Now it's going to go through a PID calibration. So the bottom panel switch to the magnetic clips. That that's acceptable. Mag clips sound. Oh, how how are we on on likes for the stream? Let's see the mouse. How are we doing on our likes? Doing okay, we have 141 people and 85 likes. We'll get more. Trevor, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the reminder, Dr. Dave. I'm saying I missed you at Murph. Missed you too. You know, I don't lend tools. I don't know, man. What do you do? You have a policy on lending tools? Because I, I, I just, it's just Depends like on who it is. Just bad things. It does. It makes it for bad things. on who it is and how complicated the tool yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and expensive the tool yeah. is. There we go. Now we're up over 100 likes. Star Rose, welcome. I do not lend, Cookie TM says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's it's almost a better policy to say, I'm sorry, I just don't have, I, I have a policy of not lending tools. Yeah. And, and try to keep that across the board. Only lend money, tools, or other things you are willing to lose. Yep. Yep. How long till the draw? We are going to draw in 35 minutes-ish. <laughs> yeah, that is one thing about the Revo, is it is quick to heat up. Sure is. Boy, howdy. Although, here, I think they can... Ooh, now you can see it better. I got a button for that. MCU temp 32. <laughs> Rat, that pie is heating up. Is it? Oh, we didn't we didn't set up our chamber fans. Uh uh. So where is that plugged in? Uh we plugged that in. I wanna say it was I think so we'll we got down here. Park cooling fan, hot end fan. Is it then chamber fan? Yeah, that sounds so right. What's the third one? P, we'll move the mouse, PE12, PE PD12, PD12, PD yeah. yeah, while it's doing this, here, go ahead and go in there, I can't see it through the, <laughs> we left the, the film on the panel, so I can't actually see through it, yeah, 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 uh, the config, <laughs> oops, did, did you reset it, I just hit save, <laughs> <There> was... <laughs> Now we gotta start over. Uh, we gotta pit pit again. Okay. Go into the settings then. Let's go. Let's go. No, let's go to the machine. Go to the machine. I'll walk you through it. And then go to printer config. What do you got? I'm looking. Oh. In the file. Okay, here we go. Config. Here we go. And then um, down into the fan section. This is a bit further. Oh, there you are. Um, that's extruder. Heated bed. Go down. Pro fans. Control. Okay, so now there's a controller fan. And PD12 is it? P. I thought I said 
Did I say PD-12? I forgot what it what said. PD-12. It's it set to PD-12. What is it on the thing? PD-12. Why isn't it working? I... They're not coming on. Don't know. I like to pull the stealth burner cover and hot end loose and set it's possible to the side while still plugged in and run the extrusion. Well, that one didn't go through the break. Free air, you can set minute extrusion temp to zero temporarily. I still, I do a hot um, extrusion test. I, I, I wonder if we got something wrong, but this doesn't go through the breakout board. That comes direct from Correct. the board. Go straight, straight to it. Uh, unless I'm wrong about it coming in. I thought it was this. I thought it was coming from so too. Let's go do the We're LDO gonna docs. We're gonna have to look. And excuse me, you can do a search on fan, and we can probably find where it is. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. Oh, I would well, have done. Know what you're I would have done a um, you just a, left? yeah, page search for fan. There and, then and then go to the next one. We're gonna find out where they plugged it in on the on the octopus. So I'll go to the next result. Oh. Go again. Uh, C fan. Oh, next. Oh, that's the breakout board. Next. 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 Um, PCF. Next. Connecting the filter. PCB fans. Let's scroll down. Um, electronic compartment fan. PD12. PD12 is what it should be, right? Fan 2 PD12. We're gonna have to look. Oh, why they're not turning on? We gotta, we gotta flip it over again? I don't know. I don't know what else to do other yeah. than verify. How many times have we done this now? Shush. PD12. Max power point three. Oh yeah. Max Wonder power. It... Yeah, that's a great name. Thanks, I got it off the hairdryer. He's the man with the clan max power. PCB fan. Heard from the bottom, so it's mm -hmm. part HEF PCB. Yep, that's where it should be. Oh, careful there. Just shorted everything. <laughs> oh, is there a jumper in there? There is a jumper there in there. There is a jumper, okay. And we're coming through. Let's pull the power up, see what happens. These are both seated. Is this, what was that? Something. Did you hit something? Something sparky. I didn't did, hit anything. Did any. you touch I the just, screwdriver to something? I just moved this, the screwdriver, okay. I don't think it was touching anything. Hmm. I was I was seeing how much slack. I mean, I think I there's wanna, a bunch of wind on the. I want to check something. Me too. I mean, we could try just plugging a fan directly into the. Am I not? Yeah. Come on. Leave off the bottom from now, you just keep jinxing it. Yeah, the setting should be okay. The restart was caused by Pooch saving them. I don't know if it was, was it done cycling? I don't know. Oh, was it? it? it Did it finish? I don't know. Apollo? Why is that coming up? Okay. Why is that coming up? Oh, you're... Whoa. You're looking I, for yours? Yeah, I wanted to look at a config I used for something else. What if I just try to plug this fan in directly to the board? Just to see if we got... Instead of the splitter. Will it reach? Should reach. Just barely. Um machine and got a machine head. Other than the rest. Green to red. Um... Uh okay. No, Hold no, you find something. I set up for my hands. Here, this is what I usually set. It's power on the new heaters. It negates prime reason. I'm going to copy this. So I do something a little different with these fans. 
Okay, so I'm gonna, and I'll explain it once I have the spare brain cycles to um, not be working on it actively. Get some more steps in while you're doing that. For these fans, I like to have them on all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Me too. And not just as a controller fan, because it keeps the pie cool. Yeah. Um, so. It's the one case you don't want warm pie. So what I do is I set this up as a different fan, but it's based on extruder temperature. And I set the temp to low so enough where it's always it's gonna always be on. Cycle, sure. Yeah. So if we save and restart this, it should just turn on and it'll always be on. There we go. Okay. So there we go. So now we can flip that. So there's probably a s something in that setting. Okay. All right. Now can we close the bottom? Yes. <laughs> and we have two fans. The third fan port. Yep. And they're pulling in and Mr. blowing. Coffee, I'll get mine. Pulling in and blowing across. Yep. So let's button it up for the last time. For the last time, everybody. <laughs> we're buttoning it up. Anger the the printer gods by buttoning it up. Watts. Don't close the bottom. We're doing it. It's closed. We're doing it anyway. It's closed. We're never going back <laughs> in there. It's going to be like, next time we go in there, it's going to be Dust Bunny Central. Now our pie should at least be a bit cooler. Yeah, we got to keep that pie cool. Pie cool. So. I want to test our LEDs too. Huh? We should test the LEDs too. Can I turn on? No, oh, I meant the, the case LEDs. It doesn't work. We're gonna go back in. We jinxed it. Do we really? I think so. We gotta figure we out what we're No, we don't have to go back in. We okay. might. We might the have LED to. LED strip in. goes into PD15. Because okay. I probably don't actually have that set up. Wait, probably. I thought the fan was in PD15. PD12. Oh, that was PD12. Yeah, PD12, PD15. So, all the so light LEDs are output LED aha there we go LED strip I keep hitting the the full screen button PD12 15 PD15 save and restart that's what I said what did I say <laughs> PD15 PD15 yeah okay. Pull this the PD. okay okay you ready yeah I'm ready Engage. <laughs> we don't have there to go in. are four lights. Four. <laughs> we got two, lights. Three, four. More than four. There's more than four. There's like okay. 41 or 42 lights. There I think there might be, be 42. Be 42. I think there are, are there 42. 42. That's going to make me I think so happy are. if there are. I think there's 21 on each side. Yes. <laughs> That's such a fun little Easter egg. There are 42 lights. The PID tune completed. Thanks, Apollo. I'm glad someone was paying attention. Okay. Uh, we've tested everything okay. that we can be testing. 42 lights. Okay. Um, we can extrude. Let's, let's extrude. Let's extrude. Let's extrude, let's set, dude. Set the temperature to 260. Mm -hmm. Something. Something hot and slow. Sorry, 260? Yeah, I mean, I'm really. Low and slow? Yeah. Okay. Bring that Z down. Give us some room. I think it's probably decent where it's at. Okay. It's not. Or take the nozzle out. I know. I know you can just take the nozzle out and change the config again and. It's just why do we, it why slow. we want to change take the well the thought is you don't want any back pressure on this that can impact your your values okay but i'm gonna use a handy dandy voron design ruler that apollo here in chat gave me cool at Murph. okay <clears throat> it's still in um, the console 
Just about the temp. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to that. We did PID 10. This is supposed to be family friendly? What did we say that wasn't family friendly? I don't know. I don't think anything. So if we go, is that up to 250? Uh, 260. Yeah. Yeah. And over here in this area is extruder. Yeah. You can, you can do an extrusion. So just do, just do that extrude. Let's see if it you extrudes. You want 25 into, mil? It doesn't matter. We're just seeing if it extrudes. I like to do 100 though. <laughs> and then it shut down. What happened? I don't know. I just said extrude. Unable to read TMC UART extruder register infants. Okay. For more restart. What do we got? 25 minutes till giveaway. Till Polymaker filament giveaway in 25 minutes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we got to go and check our extruder configuration. I probably screwed it up. Okay. Machine. Got a printer. printer config. And then down at the extruder. Extruder. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's probably the UART settings, the TMC 2209 settings. We've got PE1 on the UART pin. False interpolation, half May I? half amp current. Let's see something. PE1? Yep. And if we go here. So if we look at here and driver. Which driver do we plug that into? The extruder plugs into. So, let me see one of the top ones. Extruder motor. Motor five. five you say? Right. So, motor five. What is motor five for? Yeah, but over here and. Oh. Ah. Uh, TF big. TF one. Driver five is PE four. PE four on for the CS. It's uh, four. And what is extruder? PE one. PE one on your four. Save and restart. All right. All right. Bringing it up to temp again. Let's um while we. I probably should have checked to make sure all. Yeah, I'm um, driver five PF one PC thirteen and PF zero. What is that? PF eleven. Oh, that's we want it. So it's shooter. Ah, okay. PF one. PF one for step. One PC or PF one for enable, PC thirteen for step. Oh, this is all different. Okay. Yeah, I have it plugged into a different part port. PF one for enable. PF one. And direction is direction for driver four five is PF zero. Okay. So it's because I have mine plugged into a different port. Got it. So you have to get that back up. Okay. I do not like this part. So what this really is, is you step through. You get an air, you step through it. Yep. You just step through you, each air. You gotta, you just gotta work yeah. the problem. And you fix enough problems, you get so to go, go home. back to by go home, 260. I mean, you get to print. I learned the it's only required pin for steppers and clipper is UART. Really? What do you say? Not to define any of the others. Well, you need to define your direction at least. Oh, we never did the separate buzz. No. So normally, and I completely forgot. It worked out because I'm using an LDO a, a config that I use on an LDO printer. All the steppers, all the wiring is the same. Okay. But normally you would run with the stepper buzz. And that would, it, it moves one millimeter each thing. So you can verify that everything's moving in the right directions. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. Let's try extruding. All right. It should be up to temperature by now. 245. Close okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Extrude. There we go. Now it's it's if you extrude it, it's it's retracting. So now we got to go back we into the config. Our direction. Yep. So you go back to machine. Yep. And go to config printer config. This is good lessons. And down to extruder part, and up it up. Is that extruder direction? Yep. Direction. So you want to invert, invert it, and you invert it by Not. putting an exclamation point. Bang. Okay. And now save and restart and set your temperature again. So I'm gonna get 264 drops. Up again. This is what we call fun. It's rewarding when the printer works after working the problem. Yep, absolutely. And this should be all we need to do. We should be good from here. Ready? I made a I made a few assumptions in this configuration, knowing that it works on my other Trident. Mm. It's just some of those my configuration is slightly different. There we go. And they weren't the best assumptions. Yeah. We're gonna have to extrude a bit so we have a clean. You can go again. You can't do one more. There we go. Oh, I had filament in there. Yeah, when you were doing some, yeah, some glowy. No, this is this is teal. Oh. Kind of teal at some point. In, um, in video? Okay. So now right. we want to mark the filament. Yeah. Yeah. Under. Oh, I'm gonna use my handy dandy. So now do you, here. I've done this a number of different ways. I'll do like a, a hash at 100 and then 110, so I have a reference point when it draws it into the throat. I just do a hash at, at somewhere around 120. That looks correct. Yeah, that's right on 120. Yeah. So now change your speed to the two or okay. one. You want to go real slow. Yeah, but you can click the numbers right below. Oh, two? Okay. And then 50. And you want to do 50, and yeah. you're just going to do math and subtract the difference. So we should have well, we'll, we'll do it twice. We're... I so now extrude it. And it should very slowly. Yep, it's doing it very slowly. Mm -hmm. And if you look at your console over here, yeah. we actually, what are we showing on? It shows the extrude of 50. Yeah. yeah so you can do it one more time just right now. And now we just wait. <laughs> now it's just a waiting game. Now and then we wait. should have 20 left. Huh. Well, we've got macros. They're just not configured. Where they are. Macros for what? Down here. Yeah. That's what I use to turn the LEDs on. But they won't run while it's in the middle of running. It's got to finish the current process. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if like you hit on, on, yeah. I'll flicker on and off when it's done, it's extrude. I wonder what the formula is for correcting these steps. I have no idea. Okay. I have to look it up every single time. I like the okay. little flash that lets you know when it's done yeah. extruding. We are... Yeah. Dead nut. Yeah. That's fine. Right on. Love it. Okay. So if it wasn't right on, we would take we to change existing our... values. Yeah, there's a, there's a formula. Value. There's a formula. Yeah. But now on Clipper, the, you're, you're so what you would change is stuff. rotation distance. Rotation distance. So let me show you. Yep. Um, if you go to back to your machine and your printer config, mm -hmm. so you would run, you would take, what is it? Expected distance divided by uh, actual. actual distance times 100 or it, times. It's something like that. Yeah. Look it up. Trash over here. I have a, I have a, I actually laser engraved a little piece of wood that's in the other shop that has the formula on it for me. That's a good idea. So. I should really <laughs> put that somewhere. But you would go in here to the extruder setting and this rotation distance is what you're modifying. Yeah, yeah. That value right there. Bontech. That's for, so yeah, and this is for the Bontech directives. Okay, so. <sighs> where's the filament holder on this thing? We'll get it set up. That's next. So we're gonna button up the rest, then we're gonna print. Okay, so doors. Uh, let's pull this and then cool down the... Uh, go ahead and cool down the printer. Yes. 
should slap that on a ruler. That's a great idea. Actually, that's, that's an excellent really, really idea. Good idea. Someone needs to make a dedicated little ruler, just a short little 150 millimeter ruler. That's me. That has the formula on it. Uh, let's see. We don't. We can just save and close. We don't need to restart. And it wouldn't be bad. You're right, Ajax. It wouldn't be bad to have that as a little function in mainsail or um, fluid. And oh, the formula is in the commented line. Yeah, people notice things that I don't read. Oh, it's actually in the commented it's, it's line. It's in, in the, the comment line. Well, yeah. that's handy. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so that's going to cool down. Yep. While it's doing that, we can put the top panel on. Sure. We can put the doors on. There's the top panel. Did you take my water? No, it's right there. I've been drinking this one. This okay. one's yours. All right. I can add it to the Voron ruler. I really like the, um, on that Voron ruler, I really like that the Pi GPIO pinout is on there. Yeah. And then it's got other things like screw size, wire size, a little That's a flaw. That's a nice ruler. Yeah. Well, SMD footprint sizing. Huh. Okay, so this is gonna go on here. It's fine. Now we can pull the pull the corners. <clears throat> and then these guys here. Just shovel that under there. <laughs> and this is the filament inlet on the that goes on the back. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna start threading this. This in. 13 minutes until, oh, I didn't like to, I didn't like that. 13 minutes till filament giveaway. And anybody, you know, we I, I keep for the last few streams, I forgot to remind folks, but there is a repcord.com coupon out there and it's in the description. There's the crack. Crack, 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 crack. Why is this? This is not wanting to thread in properly. There we go. My daughter's 0.2 kit from KB3D had a brass ruler in it. Nice. Is that the daughter you had at... Is that, was that your daughter at Murph? Did you guys pick that up there? Is there any way to prevent the Bowden tube from making those ugly rubbing marks on the inside of the top panel during operation? There's, I think someone makes a mod to kind of help guide it away. I don't worry about it. I just let it, I just let it rub up there. Bowden's gonna rub. Bowden's gonna rub. The Bowden's gonna rub. You got them all? No. Nope. Yeah. That's not what's back. You're missing the back corner? Oh, you knocked it on the underneath. Did it? No. Oh, here it is. You put the film on it. You put the film on it. Nah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Phil. Put a top hat on my trident, it works okay. Yeah, I saw a zombie hedgehog had a top hat on on his no no it wasn't zombie it was it was justin it was justin um i don't remember his last name the rocky mountain one of the rocky mountain rep rep festival for yes guys. yeah she didn't win any giveaways so we got one from kb3d oh awesome okay let's put this on the back 
So we can rotate the printer. There you go. And then it bolts to the two screws up there. Yep, with the, that stuff, yeah. With the connector hanging out the back. Hmm. It just kind of sets, yeah, just like that. And it should be M5 by 10s, which are right over there. And here's your driver for that. Justin Brecor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. And then there's a grill that goes on the inside here. It just gets some um, M3 by 8. Okay. Very nice. Very easy. And see, we got some uh, threads back here for something else. Oh, no, that's what these are going into. Oh, that's actually going through to that. Yeah. Oh, I see. The through yeah. holes. Go there. Very nice. Now for spool holding. So this is, let me show folks. So this is a remix of what LDO wanted to include in their extra files. Mm -hmm. But the print orientation was, I think this way. Yeah. And they had some built-in supports for that. Yeah. So I remixed it to print that way. So it stands up. So, but what it is, is this goes in here yeah. and it, puts this it, for transport moves it out of the way oh, that's clever so i like that move it around it's a nice design but yeah it's and you got some black ptfe on that i did I, I i figured i'd i'd treat you with some sweet some black ptfe there we go so that's gonna go in there like that mm -hmm. And then this can come off. Yeah, let's see, it stores out of the way. It's almost, yeah. It's too bad it's not a little, a little higher. A little higher. Top hat might not be a bad idea. I like, it. like that. I like it. And then for the holder, the other holder, there's this. Okay. Which goes right here. Yeah. Please tell me that Remix, it will get uploaded, Bigger Fish. It will. Not engaged. And then not a, a, a very, very light pressure on that. Yeah. Because it's a It'll thin track. part. Yeah. Track. And then we can. Okay. Then PTFE tubing. Where did that go? Right under there. Oh, there it is. So I'm assuming that's a through connector. Yep. It is it's through. this and we'll move the tool head towards the front take it to the full extents so that ends up don't don't you want to you want a little bit of a loop here yeah i see what you're doing so you're coming back around again and then i'll do something like that and then it goes that way That's probably pretty close. Let's see. Pretty really tight radius at the front extent. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, if you, it's got to end up pretty tight. Otherwise, it will. Um, It'll it, wind up in the back? Yeah. Something like that is about where we want to be. And then there's a little screw in here mm -hmm. to keep this from sliding too easily. 
Ja. That'll, it's not also a run-out sensor. It's modified the spool holder and the PTFE holder for a three kilogram spool. That's big. So you feeling good about that? Yeah. I feeling good so. enough about it to cut the PTFE? It's right around here somewhere. Yo. Oh, and it's one mil. So it's a it's a three internal four external. Yeah. Yep. Minimize friction on the path. Yeah. Honestly, I'm a fan of four by six. Like I go over big on direct drive since yeah. so I keep that and that's what we end up using on the turntable and stuff. I'm gonna play with this and see what because if I'm gonna sling a five kilo underneath it in the cabinet, I want a yeah, nice minimal friction. Yeah. Okay, doors. Yep, the doors. And this is a good one to go over. Do the doors. So we're gonna go here. And and there is PTFE on the spool holder. It's just black PTFE. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what I do. I pre-did a lot of this prep. So what I do is, where's that green driver? Right here. What I do is I set these on either side. And people can, people can sort of see this. Be able to see the other side. So I set one on this side. Magnets. And I set one on this side. Okay. And these are these are the latches. I put those on the bottom. Mm -hmm. There we go. Put one on each side. Then I grab the one millimeter shims. We have I set these on top. Okay. Then I start prepping the door panels. Here's one. And I go once again for bow, set them to, if there's any bow in them, for it to be out. It's pretty good. and I set up some blue tape. Set up some blue tape. Got the blue tape. We got the blue tape. Oh my gosh, we found so much blue tape. I had an inventory of like the what is this, like two inch? I had like some four inch wide of this, mm -hmm. like back from the old days when people were still blue taping stuff that was like in a bin. Oh boy. Like, we need to get rid of this. We got tons of blue tape on massive closeout. So if you're looking to paint your house, oh, you still have thick, it? Thick. Is it on your closeout page? It is on the closeout page. That's awesome. I'll put two of these just to help stabilize. We got too much blue tape. So now I set Go these ahead. panels on top of those washers just to help yep. figure out our spacing. And I put both of them on there. Okay. So, yeah. And I would have left some of that on. So put film. this together. Yeah. So we want to, let's just go ahead and take that all the way out then. I think we could it. like lay it on nicely. We'll put it back on. Nah. It won't be worth it. Okay. Nope. Throw the whole thing on the ground yeah. if you want. That works too. Okay. All right. Set these on here. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put a piece of tape in between here and here. Okay. If you want to. So we do here. Mm -hmm. and we do here. That's nice. And then I'll grab a piece of tape and go right around the middle here. Okay. And then we'll use this to kind of center it side to side. Okay. So we're going to center it in the opening here between the extrusion slots. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Come that way, maybe a touch. There we go. This is up. Those are all taped. And Same then here. I'll turn that. Nice. Same thing, just making sure because we're going to put um, things here. So that's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty 
pretty good. Looks nice to me. Yeah. So then we can start taking our hinges and start putting our, oops, throwing them at you without you knowing. Oh man. How did it go? It went all the way <laughs> under there. Okay. All right. It is time. It is time. So we go to the top corner. Bottom corner. Mm hmm. And then I don't take that off yet. I put these on first and then line up where they're going to go. So there is some play, some vertical. I don't know if people can see. There's some vertical play here. Yes. So I basically let it drop and then line it up with the top. Drop, line it up with the top. Got it. And then same on the bottom, line up with the bottom. Commenting half an hour behind, this is what I get for accidentally pausing and forgetting what I paused. <laughs> Definitely need to screw on door hinges. I am, a f I, for what these are, these print in place hinges, I'm, I'm a fan of. They work really well. Um, okay. Okay. Now we're gonna take the. If you're lined up there, yeah. We can take the tape, the, expose the VHB. And if everything is still good, come on, VHB. Mm -hmm. There we go. There you go. And then I'm going to do the top one first, I think. I don't love the stock hinges. Ah, well, too bad. <laughs> what you getting? You want some tweezers? Uh, Is it being finicky? Mark Teller is surprised. <laughs> I'm increasingly a fan of the hinges that have the lift off screw attachment. I can see the appeal there for sure. Okay, okay. finally peeled that. Finally. Okay, so when I put these on, so there's some play here. Yeah. If you, if you, if you put this on with it biased towards the inside, yeah. it's going to end up with a loose door gap, okay. right? So if you push it towards the outside, push it that side, and then go in, okay. it'll it'll tend to um, force it to push together. Okay. You get what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So same thing on the bottom. Buy it, same push thing. it. Just kind of push it towards the outside, yep. and then in. Okay. And then there's not... Okay. Yeah, these will go in the middle. Okay, we've um, done that, yeah. but it was important to get these on first. Now we sure. can, now we can pull this um, tape, the side tape, and then we yeah, on this side I can expose the. That can stay. We'll leave the, the center stuff for a second. Okay, and then now we're gonna actually want a a ruler. Uh, I have where's your, where's your boron ruler? That should be enough. No, I'll put this on here. Well, I mean, it's easier to measure the, the the whole thing, and then. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna eyeball it, and then you can. You're gonna eyeball it. You can tell me. You if should. I'm... So what's deceptive is this one on the side that's already there, but this is where I want to commit to, right? That's where you want to commit to, right here. Okay. I, here. I think. Measure. I, I don't know, man. That's tough. There's a lot of things potentially throwing this off. <laughs> I think you're a little low. You think I'm I think, low? I think you're slightly low. You think I'm, I, I've got, you, you think there's more space here than here? Um, it's close. 
This is about, it's about 241-ish millimeters should be. Okay. So, that's there to there. <laughs> it's low by like two millimeters. Uh, two millimeters. Uh, <laughs> but it is low. <laughs> ah, shoot. <laughs> And then she was way off. And then no, she way too many. <laughs> Let me see that again. You're low by about three millimeters. That went the wrong way. Yeah. So, like, I hold it up here. You there. want to go to 241. Center that at 241. Center of the screw huh? at 241? Yeah. Center of the screw at 241. Isn't that hard? I, I think I went past the T-nut pretension, yeah. Come on. All the stupid, didn't get stupid hammerheads. Eight hammerheads, man. I heard it click in. Okay. Okay. Now we can get this side. Slow. Oh, no, I'm not. You're right there. Yeah, I'm right there. You're right okay. there. Good job. Okay. Wait, is it actually in? Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. Right. Now we can do the same thing. And then, same thing. Push in and. Samsonite, I was way off. Samsonite, I was way <laughs> off. Good Dumb and Dumber reference. Maybe I thought Pooch was a master at eyeballing. You know, two millimeters over a 420 millimeter span. I'm, I'm a little off tonight. It's been a long day. I mean, I'm sorry for the two millimeter. Okay, and then we got to do the retention. Yeah, we can take our little shimmy so down. Those can come off. Shimmy and then the screwdriver these can move okay it's a nice oh, little stick technique okay where are we going all the way so down? that's going to come off all the way and it's going to go centered there or there it doesn't matter yeah so we one of them has to go bone. to the bottom and let's get them to the top Yep. And then we can use that as a reference <laughs> to recenter all of our goodies. Huh? Oh, is Chris Riley here? Hey, Chris. What's up, Chris? <laughs> the measuring. Who needs it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, OCD people need it. <laughs> Chris and Jackie, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome to see you. I got a jello shot from Jackie. Jackie knows how to party. <laughs> She's cool. It is time for the giveaway. It's past time for the Let's giveaway. Giveaways. We're Let's actually eight minutes them. past it. I'm feeling a little bad. The, and then we're going to start a print. I'm feeling a little bad. Yes, we're going to put the, the handles on. So we're giving away Polymaker filament, one roll. I did it. I took it off. Good. Oh. You, I, you almost had a heart attack right then. I saw it in your face. <laughs> Okay, a roll, Jared did. I haven't been paying as much attention to the chat as I should be. Okay, Polymaker Filament giveaway. Links in the pin post in the description. As usual, you have three seconds of no responses. So three, two, one, and a half. And close. Okay, closed up. Let me get the spreadsheet. Where were Jello shots? They were at the Chris Riley, Chris's basement. The ba table. basement. Basement table. You gotta hit up the basement. Okay, we're gonna create. And grab the names. Ooh. And Ooh, paste hefty. them into our special wheel of names. Handle. Go here. Special wheel of names. What are we doing our number range for? 
There we 11 are. to 17. What are our names? So, oh, I got Leo too. 11 to 17? Yeah. That's the numbers. 11 to 17. Oops. What do we What do we got for, for shuffling it up? <laughs> 11 to 17. How do those go? And they're real, especially those long ones are kind of a pain to get on. Great. Do you want to put your um, badge in there first or do you want to do it after? Probably after? Hmm. It'll be fine. It'll be easy enough. Hmm. 11 to 17. Chris had a great view of the Voron booth. I watched his ASMR vid from her. What do we got? Let's go. I see a lot of 15s. We'll do 15. Yep. Let's see the shuffle, shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And who's going to win? Who do we got? Badgey badge. Oh, it's in probably the the envelope that's down there. That's Yeet. in that box. Yeet. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who? L three ten. Congratulations, you Way have go, won. L. You have won either coupons to the ah. polymaker.com store. If you're in the U.S. and Canada, or a selection or a roll of filament, if you are outside the U.S. and Canada, there's a form you'll get. L thirteen is L three ten is here. Congratulations! I can cancel my cancel my timer. They were on it. Is that already sticky? It's about to be. Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations, Elf. You will get an email from me sometime in the next couple of days. Oh wait, no, they don't. They don't do pre teaser on this. Hmm? Is, it a... is there? Is there anything uh, on that? I don't think so. I think it's VHB. You gotta use. No. Nunca. Oh no. Oh. I caught that. Yeah, there's nothing there. Let's use VHB. We need your unpin the sticky. Thank you, Phil. U.S. or Canada? Honestly, they just snap fit it in there. Did it really? Yeah. <laughs> and then it falls out again. Wow. The supports on that were gorgeous. It worked great. I am L310. Congratulations. Save that, and we are good. I love this having to just kind of completely surface. Move around the printer. <laughs> we're there, though. Hey, Laura. Thanks for being here. We got a print. Suck at predicting winners, but dominate at guessing losers. <laughs> All right, well, if you got VHB, I'll take it. Um, where did I put it? You had any trick uh, for mounting these mag things you want to talk about? I don't really have a trick because I'm not very good at it. It's you want so here before you do that. Uh -huh. What you want to make sure is there's a little bit of gap between them because yep. this is the most common part I've already done of um, if there, you want done. a little bit other, because otherwise they can catch and it makes it not work as smoothly. Yeah. So then basically straight there and then just straight on and let the magnet kind of pull it in. Just make sure it's level. D2 soon. Yes. So Jared wants to talk about Galileo too. July for kits most likely will still be beta on printed parts, have some tweaks needed, and harassment done on parts for longevity testing. Awesome. Just to hand everyone with the coupons, you can order more and apply the coupon to the whole order. I ordered two rolls, which was $12 more than the coupon, so I got to order two rolls for $6 each. Nice. Score. Galileo. Galileo Figaro Magnificent. Oh, those doing good. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. All right. Let's put this on first. Let me let me grab let me grab uh, the DHB because I think I left it in the other garage. Be right back. Which stands for very hardy backing. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. This is a really fun build. Really fun build. And see wanting just I don't know, man. When you get like these really high end pro super tuned temptation, you just be like, oh, I want a whole farm of these. 
want these with like belt beds and big build volumes and idex and full changing make it to where it sticks out it won't be flush i, I don't know unless you've got like What's double sided yeah it'd have to be a pocket yeah you want to do that later or do you want to do it now you can always pull it off and do it later yeah let's at least get it just put it on there for now so we yeah. can say it's done What is this? I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Very, very frightening me. Leo, la la Leo, la la Leo, Figaro, let me be go. Oh. Oop. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> Pooch, you need to build a town clock for the blaster. Guess who says that? Uh, 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 Chris Riley. No, Apollo. Oh, Apollo. Okay. All right. Oh, well, I mean, I'd be happy to build any of those things. I love that stuff. This doesn't have a Galileo. No, it does not. There you go. Cool. Thank you. What are we at? Are we ready to print? Here. <laughs> did you uh, did you pre-slice our file? You wrote kind of odd songs for a guy from East Africa. What? Did you pre-slice our file? I did not. Oh. I don't take a moment. Okay. We got a PID tune the bed. Yes, so we, do, we, do, we do. We do. We do. We do. Let's do that. Yeah. Let me get over here where I can actually read. Send it. it. Watch my feet. Watch my tootsies. You reach over there and hit the three on my. Tres. Tres comas. PID calibrate heated bed. And we're closed. We're going to do 110. And enter. Oh. It's all smudgy already. All right. so what are those big handles? Let's go up, on top. up here, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. A special set of bolts for them. I see them. They're right here. Special set of bolts. Is it? Uh, wait, is that not there? Those are there. Yeah. Spacers. Spacers! All right. I really love these cast handles, man. Oh, did we put any? In there? No, uh, negatory. Negatory? Are we going to use. Um, no, we're going to use peanuts. I mm. have to get them in there. Mm -hmm. I can go get some hammerheads if you really want them. No! <laughs> this machine deserves a special cereal. It does. I want the golden there are cereal. Anything bicycle from point. Bicycle, bicycle. I like to ride my bicycle. I like to, to ride my <laughs> bicycle. I like to ride my bike. I like to ride my bicycle. I like to ride it where I like. You got a special bookmark. Oh, the you mean the ruler? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's but it's a ruler too. It is. Yeah. Because I like to measure uh, while I'm reading. Yeah. yeah. As one is known to do. Yeah. De Desheath it. There you go. Yeah, that was their that was their Christmas gift. It's, uh, well, it's a little, little different. Look at that. Engraving. Sick. I love it. Okay, I can show this off here. Auto horn zero engraving and the audio ruler slash bookmark. Bicycle. Bicycle. Engraving is kind of cool. Fat bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go round. TV picks on Steve's Discord. Is there someone selling those handles separately? I'm 
would guarantee that they are a regularly av available piece. I just wouldn't know where to find them. Yeah, they seem like a... They're not... They're not anything custom. Custom. Um, Wait a minute. <laughs> did we put, Okay, we did. I was like, did we put the right size nut? I gave you M5s. Yeah, yeah, you did give me M5s. Did you go in and out? I did. Did you go out in? Wait, I went... Uh, I went in. I did that. But I did it the other way on the Perfect. other side. But you'll never see it. But you'll Path know. Path of construction. Passes the Steve test. I gotta go over here. You're inverted? No. I would never do that. <laughs> you really wouldn't. You really, you really wouldn't, guys. <laughs> You'd be wrong. Ah. Queen did the best cover of New York, New York for Highlander. The only one. Is Jack Black here? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Jack Black. Are you talking about the song from Peaches or about Peaches? Peaches, 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 Peaches. Wow. Peaches, oh, you know peaches, 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 peaches. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's centering that based on something that may or may not be centered. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. 410. Millions of peaches. Holy moly, this is Peaches centered. foam peaches. Did I do this or did you do this? I did that one. That one's centered. Yeah. Because I got a good eye. I did this one. So let's see what's up. Let's see what you got. Because you did do this side. Take that off. Yeah. Okay. You want to take the whole handle off? Yeah, probably. Okay. All right. Undo my handiwork. Sure. Pooches, 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 pooches. I like that. Okay. Ruler. That's 10 millimeters. Oh, it looked like 10. Ooh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yes, it is. That's just that's just embarrassing. <laughs> My mic is still off. I'm terrible at remembering. Apparently, you remember to turn it off. I don't. You I don't. don't. Remember to turn yeah. It on again. Yeah. Just, just, it should be better now. Unilaterally terrible at remembering. One directional. Omnidirectional. No. Unidirectional. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna, not enjoying yeah. this. Hold on. Separate shops concept. Without having everything I would need in both. Having to run back and forth is for the birds. Yeah. I mean, but having two sets of everything would be uh, obnoxious yeah. too. So yeah, I agree. I just need to be more, more prepared. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of moving parts here, literally and figuratively. I never forget to put the bottom panel on too early. No. <laughs> it's okay. It worked out. Did it? That's it. That's it. That's yeah, it. How's our? Had to open it and close it twenty times. That is heating up. Okay. A big old mass of aluminum. Num, aluminium. Al aluminium. 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 Say it with me. Aluminium. <laughs> the only way we use the metric system and we pronounce aluminium, aluminium. I need to go to bed. I'm still exhausted from visiting hell yesterday. Is it that hot? I, right now, it, it feels like 10 to, 1030 to me. Oh, yeah, I feel late. You were, a, you were a trooper for going with this, right? Because otherwise, we weren't going to have a window to finish this thing yes. until, like, next, late next week. And we had to get it done because I want to put this to work. You need to use it. I need to put it to work. I got some projects yep. that need... Oh, look need what you it. did. Oh, there you go. And then I'm, I'm going to immediately want, like, ten more. This is the problem. <laughs> this is how it all happens, guys, and I blame, I blame all of you. But it is 10.30. Yeah, exactly. It is somewhere. It's Five o'clock and ten thirty somewhere. Okay. My so my yeah. son and I yeah. didn't go to bed 
the night before we flew out because our flight left at five. Oh, so you mm. stayed up? Yeah, we stayed up to That's be at the airport brutal, at three. Man. We we got well, we left our house at three. We got to the airport about three. Oops, I was gonna sorry. say you're pretty about three you're twenty not that far from the airport yeah. here. Uh, it's it's I'm a solid hour hour from the airport. So anyway, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call that good. Let's uh, pit it's, tune it's the tuning. Pit tuning. It is. Oh, we haven't okay. wasted any time. Okay, good. We were being efficient. We are efficient. Uh, Let's go here. What is it? Done. It's at 75C. Yeah. That's a big, heavy, thick bed. That's a thick bed. G H I C C. Um, we've got 300 go. millimeters a second, 10,000 acceleration. 5,000 max to D cell. We um, are going to go a little longer today. We got to push plastic. Got to push plastic, man. Got to push plastic. That's what the whole that's the whole point of this. I got to say, I feel like we are a fish ant. I feel like I want something here to cover that hole. Yeah. But I know you can't because you got you got your doors here. Mm -hmm. Maybe something, maybe something that just recessed in there, you, you know? You could. Like a little silvery. You could. Then I can never get to that screw again. Do you ever need to get to that screw? I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> push polymers. That's right. We push pot. We push some polymers. Unless it's cellulose. Well, there, there. The chat. A couple of people in the chat are asking whether we're going to peel the panels, but. I mean, I think I put it in the car. Scratching. You yeah, gotta, but at some it. point, it's the only the only scratched. way they can be. It's like be, getting that first scratch your, yeah, first day in your car. You got you got two choices. Yeah, you have to film peeling it, or we peel it here. Yeah, I so say we peel it here, just okay. yellow. Okay. Wow. Well, gonna get. It. We'll do that while we're waiting. There you for, go. Okay, ready, yeah, guys. You, you, you got a good view there. Are you guys uh, ready? Uh, 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 okay. Stephen Mikado, he's he's the peel man. Uh, uh, don't look at my uh, don't look at my bare acrylic. That's a, that's a, oh no, look at what you've done over here. What? You did that side. I, what's wrong? There you go. <laughs> to ruin the peel. <laughs> we had a peel and we ruined the peel. Now the peel is ruined. You know what? I don't think these None of those ones are centered. are centered. None of those are centered. Yeah, let me see that just, screwdriver one here. all off. It's all, all wrong. Right done. Okay, well, it's continuing with the peel, guys. Voila! I gotta say, I I didn't even know I needed it until I saw this, but these chamfered edges on this, that's like next level stuff, man. I love, I love LDO and their nice clean work. I gotta, I gotta get Whatever that panel chamfer is, I gotta we gotta up our game. It's nobody wants to be on the acrylic, man. All right, I'm gonna peel the top. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Top cam. There you go. That guys, look at it. Look at it. That's a thing of beauty. That's a thing of beauty. That's a lot of damage. We got. Yeah. No, oh, wait. We don't have a camera on this side. Do no. I need to rotate it? We do. I'm gonna smooge it. We need the handle. So don't smooge it. Immediately, just gouge it. Norman Vincent Peel. Now, once also satisfying on these, mm -hmm. you can see what. Oh, just, just pull hard. it right off. Wait, yeah. I'm make sure it's clear so I don't like tear anything. Voila. Does that come it's off like, nice? It's like pulling uh, <laughs> the tablecloth out from under the set table. It like, wow, no resistance if you go quick. Wow, look at that. So nice. It's never oh gonna be this gosh, nice again. It's never gonna be this nice again. It's gonna, it's gonna smell like uh, ASA. Hey, I can see the screen. Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's crystal clear. That's a beautiful, 
That's a beautiful design, my it's friend. It's a good looking you printer. did good work. Especially with what you did here with like this two-tone. And I don't know, let's take a minute while this is still is it going to country yet? Almost. Thank our sponsors again for this. LDO, yeah. obviously. Jason yep. and team. Fabrico, Hector. CNC, CNC kitchen. kitchen. And then everybody that's been with us. Who's been here for all five episodes? That's a good question. Raise your hand in the chat if you've been here for all five episodes. Any amount of time. Yeah. No, it doesn't, you don't have to say the whole thing. I mean, I'd yeah. be, that'd be crazy impressive if you had been, but we've done it. She's a beaut, Clark. Even. She's a beaut. We've got Keza. Me, me. Look at all you guys. Jeff and Obi-Wan and TF Dennis and Flying Gyroscope. Are you kidding? Steven. Um yum. Jeff. The robot from Robot Chicken would do things today. Right? Yeah, he would. <laughs> Spice King. I think I've been here for parts of all of them. That counts, Troy. That's fantastic. Let's watch them all later. Alfonsito. Printing printers. Bully, 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 Peace and your and Bill. Pitchrell. Missed the last one, Tuxedo, but I'm sure you saw part of it. Even after. Yeah. I couldn't be here, but I watched them all. Awesome. I missed one. That's fine. Ben, Bill, there's a lot of people. I'm impressed. Good for you guys. Yeah. Way to see it through. Way to count. see it through. Close. It's Mike. I guess I'm Nacho, your guy been here for all of them awesome can we slice it what is... we're waiting? can we do that or is, what can. else did you want to do we can let's okay. slice yeah that's a good call yeah let me let me switch spots so i can actually see the screen here now you can take... uh, no this is it okay so let's download the model real quick let me get my keyboard to wake nice up. Nice build. Good job, guys. Well, don't good job us until we... Thank you, but uh, we, gotta, <laughs> we gotta push some plastic. I mean, more than just the extrusion calibration, but I think it's... I've got a good feel at this point. We've we've done all we're the going. debugs. So, Poof wanted to print the spiral vase mode Serpinski Pyramid. Mm -hmm. I love the Serpinski Triangle. So, I did a... In my senior year calculus of high school, calculus class. Calculus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and a, and a friend did this math competition thing with a presentation on fractals. Ah. And the Sierpinski triangle was a core part of our speech and how that actually gets calculated. That, and I don't remember all the specific details. I don't know if anybody can even see me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we see. We yeah. see over top of But it. the basic idea is if you take, I think it is... The three, um, the three points of a triangle, yep. and then some other point, I think it is, and then start calculating the halfway point between all of those, yep. and just do it over and over and over and over, Keep you happening. end up Keep with happening. this pattern. Right. Yeah. 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 Isn't that the basis of fractals in yeah. general? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In general. Yeah. 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 It's a repeating, um, yeah. infinitely detailed, you, you, like a like a Mandelbrot set. Have you ever? Yeah. That bug looking fractal. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you keep zooming in and in and in, you see that same pattern yeah. no matter how much you zoom in. Math amazing. <clears throat> it's a math is. beautiful language. So we're gonna go to files. We've got a 0.6 nozzle on here, and they've got a 0.6 nozzle, 0.2 layer height file. And we're gonna do the smaller one, the 28 millimeter version. Will you sacrifice only... the bed to the PEI deities? What does that mean? Let's see, fun pack, Superski Triangle can also be a representation of the number of even numbers in a binomial expansion. Well, yeah. That makes sense. I, <laughs> I mean, everybody knows that. <laughs> uh, let's see, so IOW if everything matters. Oh, I have an updated Prusa Slicer, that's okay. So much smart talk, I just want to print a plastic boat. Yeah, I'm with you, Tom Young. Uh, even numbers in a row. Of Binobial expansion. Picked up 10,000 millimeters of 2020. Ooh. This so let's see. So that's 10, 10, mil 10 meters of 2020 that will be cut this Friday. Very good. So we're gonna print this. It's gonna. I just tiny picked up 10,000 millimeters of 3030 for another project. Oh yeah. Yep. Hope to be talking about that soon. I'm gonna grab just a couple of. 
settings here. We're gonna go and set us to a 0.6 nozzle. Let's see, PETG will be left on the bed? Who's putting PETG on the bed? We got no PETG here though, we got the ASA. Yeah, we're gonna print with the glass filled ASA. Yeah. And... GFASA from Fadus. We a... didn't say Fadus, but I guess Tech Fabrico kicked in. Yeah. But we love Fadus too. Um... I don't know what I used for my... Uh, have we done a Z offset check? We have not. That's a good, but we do that after the PID question. tune. Yeah. And we'll heat it back up and yeah. we'll do that. Yeah. Good call. Well, we have to wait until the... I would have forgotten if they hadn't reminded me. I have the printer affliction bad. I do. I really, I mean, a 2 4 sounds good. Although, honestly, if you Let's can do a. Here. I want, does somebody. Who does a kit? Who does a kit? Um, who does one of these in 350? The Trident. Does anybody offer a 350 Trident kit? Or is it a UI? There are some out there. There are some out there. Yeah. I'm not big on recommending the main one that's out there. Yeah. Um, that's the 75. Let's just go. Right Man, there. this is just next level. This is the best. This is hands I, down the best looking printer I own. Hands it, down. It looks great. The yeah. color combination. I own a lot of printers. Um, I am like this. just for everyone's benefit here. I'm kind of guessing at a bunch of settings here. It doesn't. I mean, we're just we're gonna yeah. get a print. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you do you have a uh, you have a profile you like though already? I assume. Yeah, it's somewhat. Okay. And we're gonna come down here. We're just gonna change all these to point six. Everyone builds a three fifty or larger once. Somewhat does, but it's a two fifty height. But see, that's the thing. I'm like, I want. I don't know. The default config is a two fifty height for Trident. So that's why. You'd see that. And then, and you know that this is just a gateway to like a meter cubed eventually. Let's see what I don't, does. I don't know why, I, I probably want it, minutes. but I want it. Anybody so many anything? people forget the offset and they, I see, and then that's when they sacrifice the P. Oh for yeah. For their crime because this we forget true. to do the Z offset. Let's export this. Do screen. Bought a uh, built a micron first. Let's see. Okay. Let's have this, to do is, this is doing its calibrated. You want, to, you want to do a small, small printer is so small. Yeah, those are cute. I mean, I like the 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 dot two and I mean, I think it's whatever whatever's fun or if you have a use case. We're starting to just do more fab work where we just need a little bit more you build volume. Big, build volume, yeah. A meter would take so much belt. So much belt. Mm. Unless you do it with threaded rod. Let's tighten that screw. Torn between a 250 trident or a dot two. Already have a 24 and it's too big. Um, where's Tom? Is he local? Um Tom Young? I don't know. Oh. It's too big. I want a 2-4. Who wants to give up their 2-4? I'll be building a yep. 600 there's cube the, burner. There's the 24 soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if I'm on. Yeah, you're on. <laughs> No, yeah, that's gonna be big that's, boy. That's big one, boy. That's one of five or six boxes. <laughs> the giant wallet. Yeah, yeah. It's on its getting ready on its third cycle of the PID ten. Okay, that's a lot. You buy his local for some people. Sure. One of Micron's plus so bad. I need to get my Micron plus, tuned plus. up and printing because plus, plus, plus. that could be a very useful, very used printer for me. Yeah? I just have been so busy with everything else. I just haven't gotten to just finalizing it. Huh. 
Well, maybe getting it into the regular workflow. Maybe that's what you should do for your uh, Saturday. Your Saturday. Yeah. I've got another idea for Saturday, but I don't want to mention it you, until I talk to someone. You're not ready yet. Yeah. Not ready yet. No, no project before it's time. Yeah. MK4. So MK4 stream is Sunday. We are going to build the Mark IV on Sunday. I'm going really, I'm to be dying to hear how long that takes you. I'm, I'm interested. You've, I'm done not, Mark, you've done the Mark III, right? I have. Yeah, yeah. And I've built a few of them and rebuilt them a few yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're familiar with the general, but they've, they've modded oh yeah. a good oh yeah. amount. Yeah. So I'm going to build it. I'm not going to print parts for it. I'm going to build it exactly as it came. Yeah. I, I want to see it, use it as it was shipped to me. Yep. Um, later, I'm absolutely going to replace all the parts with something cooler and cleaner. Nice. Or cooler color or whatever. Yeah. Uh, just mostly for appearance. Um, but I, I'm undecided on whether I'm going to try to uh, see if it's reasonable to do in one stream mm. or if I want to cut it at a certain point to make it e more easily digestible mm -hmm. by people. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you'd have to haul to get that done in one stream, probably. My first Mark III, the first time I built one, it was about six hours. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, six hours is nothing. <laughs> Maybe to you. <laughs> yeah. I gather just assembling the next extruder is a workout. I don't know. I, have, I actually haven't even looked at the instructions yet. I haven't even glanced at the instructions. I have... I have the box in there. I have not opened it. I have not broken the seal. Mm -hmm. um, it is taking all my willpower to not eat the hair of those. I was going to say, <laughs> the temptation, you're good. Show good restraint. Hey, Dragonflame. We're just waiting for this pit tune. We're, we're right there. We are right there. Hey, Ryler. Ryler is my nephew. Hi, Ryler. Yeah. How you doing, Ryler? Um, let's see. Someone doesn't like the switch wire. I think the switch wire definitely has its place, and I do like the Ender conversions to mm. switch wire. Mm. I think it's a worthy upgrade. I've done two of them. That's fun. <laughs> Did you get big bag of gummies or mini? I, I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. The, uh, the assembled one came with the big one. The assembled one came with the big one. Big, yeah. big bag of, big bag of gummies. My Prusa Mini came with a mini that, bag of the mini mini gummies. With the minis, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's standard. Did I tell you about that? No. So I got this, the Prusa Mini, by Joel's Christmas giveaway. The oh, church. You won that. I did yeah. not. What? Um, I did not win it, but uh, one of my viewers did. Okay. And they didn't know the whole inside the U.S. thing, oh, okay. and they were in the U.K. Okay. So they contacted me and said, hey, do you want this? And I said, sure, absolutely. Sweet. So um, Dave at Printed Solid, um, super generous on that giveaway. Um, he kept giving away additional More, printers yeah, as, that, as the dollar yeah. amount kept going up. Sure. And so I set aside a Charlie's Angel stream to, to build it and play with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was pretty sure it said it was a kit. Yeah. Well, I get on stream. I haven't opened the box yet. Yeah. So I, I have to have it. I try not to. I want I want the same experience, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get on stream and we're talking about it and I open it up and it's a fully assembled it's mini. Assembled. <laughs> well, I mean, That's how I got fully mine. assembled. Yeah, yeah. They do, I think they said like a semi-assembled is what yeah. they call it now. So you and it to, what, still took the, the whole stream to work on it. Both the so I'm glad it, it wasn't the kit. It would have been a multi-stream. Oh, yeah. I, I actually heard when they did the one that was the actual kit, that was pretty brutal on a lot of people. It was harder than I think a lot of people thought it would be to get all those bits and bobs in. Said so the XL comes with a bucket of Haribo. Yeah. So I drove by the new Haribo plant in Wisconsin. How was that? Just drove by it. It's, it's a Haribo in like the giant. Does it, does it look like a, does it look like a big bear? <laughs> no. Oh. But apparently it's not running yet. It's it's like fairly new. Oh, they're not online. Yeah, they're not online. It's not fully. The space station is not fully functional yet. Correct. Got it. And your conver converter here also, your videos was my inspiration. Awesome. I'll be rounded once I have them all built. The V0 Ender Switch and a 300 Trident. There are a few of us that have the entire lineup. 
a couple of us that have the entire lineup, including Voron Kit. I thought you were missing. I thought you were missing something. You oh, you don't have a two four here right now. You've done a it. What? A two point four. I have three of them. I thought you said you didn't have. Oh, you just don't have them in three fifty. Correct. You did the smaller Correct. size. Mine are all three hundreds and two fifties. Yeah. <laughs> Any other highlights from your time in Wisconsin? Um. Well, it, it was it was really about visiting some really old friends. So that was probably the biggest highlight, is visiting those old friends. Nice. Um, the highlight beer um, that I hadn't tried before is Spotted Cow from New, Glar New Glarus, Glarus Brewery. It's a local that's pretty famous, I guess. Okay. It was pretty good. That's good. I bought some extra and took it to Murph to share. Yeah? Yeah. Some cans or? Uh, bottles. Some bottles? Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, where Top are we? Point maker green and yellow is a printer color scheme. Um, New Glarus, yep. Is almost it done? There. It's almost there. Um, gr the right green and yellow can, be can look good. Absolutely. I mean, you Green Bay Packer fan or whatever? Is that me? I mean, my no. my high school colors were um, green and gold. Mine were like maroon and gold. <laughs> no, I like I'm 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 liking this color combo. This is great. It's like this black carbon <laughs> carbon black. I don't even know what to call it. What part were I? I was in the Kenosha area. Kenosha. Kenosha. E. You have a real good apple ale? Okay. You didn't sound like, excited about that. Like Pokemon, gotta build them all. I've had um, some sours lately, or at least they're called sours. They're like milkshake sours. Like, yeah. They were really freaking delicious. Yeah, I'm sure. It's there's like candy a, beer. There's, oh yeah, there's a yeah. place off of um, Sunrise called Burning Barrel Brewery, mm -hmm. and they've had some lately. I like sour. Wrong. Actually, I'm weird. I like sours there's and a stout. Banana Foster Sour. Oh, that actually geez, I would like, drink that. <laughs> yeah. Probably like, yeah. It, it was delicious. Probably a lot of sugar in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we done yet? Almost. Which really offends like beer purists, right? Because they're like sour. No, that's not. A, it's, it's not a. Yeah. I I think they're great, but I like I like a lot of weird flavors. Like I like the I love dark beers too. I love I too. stouts and I like, porters and. And I like dessert stouts. Mm -hmm. um, Milk stout, peanut yeah, butter. Yep. Peanut butter stout. Yep. There's a there's a brewery up in Reading yeah. called. Other no Falling River. Falling River Brewery. Falling River? There's so Feather Falls it's a feather, it's a feather in river. Oroville. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But Falling River Brewery, I think it is. They have a Irish cream coffee stout on nitro. Ooh. That's freaking Ooh, I love probably it. my See, favorite. Anytime stout. you put nitro, because like, yeah. then it goes right to your dome. Someone asked the preferred colors for printing NeoPixel diffuser in the Voron logo insert. Um, clear Pet G is a good choice, but also natural ABS still works pretty well to diffuse it. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Why can't i3 printers with dual lead screws or belts tram the z-axis over the x-axis? They can if they're independently controlled. So but the you're, Prusa you're, you're shares only... a driver. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yeah. You can. You can. You can auto. Um, I mean, I suppose that would theoretically be better than than not. Yeah. But it's not like three point. I use clear PLA because it works, but probably PETG is better. And it's not, it's, I mean, diffuser. clear PLA is going to be fine. Everything is kind of held in, in place there. If it gets a little soft. It's not really going to hurt anything. Come on. You're anxious. You You're anxious. I know. Print. <laughs> it's already almost eight. Um, okay. I got, oh, I have a, notepad pad of paper here yeah. that I don't know why we're on that camera so we might as well go here the new um, one does I've had this for guess how long new daddy uh since you were since Xander was born <laughs> uh, so what are we doing so we'll use one of these for our for our Z oh, okay good guess yes. <laughs> dragon flame thanks for the gift and memberships some of the boards don't have enough drivers to control independent Z motors. Yeah. Yeah. So many of those i3 style printers share one driver for two steppers. But this is now pretty sure the new buddy board does have additional driver 
Does the Mark IV independently control them? I don't. I don't think, think so. so. But I'm wondering if the board has expansion capabilities. Yeah. I'll look. That's a good question. That's one thing that I'm a little down on the XL on. Is it Z configuration? I, why they didn't do a three-point trimming like that would have yeah. just. Ugh. They're relying I too know. much on a mesh. I know. I think. It seems like it's it's low hanging fruit. They have the ability. There must. Well, here's the I, thing. I, I'm it curious what in, their reasoning is. It's been in R and D a lot, lot longer than I think a lot of people realize. Yeah. And so I don't know if they just went down that path, making that decision too early on, and then decided to stick with what they had instead of doing it. Or maybe they may. I don't. I don't know proofs to do this, but I mean. An argument can be made for an upgrade path, you know, so yeah. they have, you know, hold their fire for the XL uh, updates because they are good about continuing to improve. Has anyone tried printing a mute for a trumpet or similar? I used to play the trumpet in grade school. Hmm. No, I haven't tried to print something for it. The mute, isn't that just like, I think it looks, looks like little, yeah. the, yeah. the, the looks like I the think plunger. So. I think so. It's been a long time. <laughs> Do you guys prefer the 2.4 or Trident best? I think chat can probably tell you. Trident. <laughs> Trident. Trident. Stouts. I like stouts. Yeah. Stout. Relying on the force sensor to live adjust during the print too. Oh yeah. Be sure. Yep, we're gonna set our Z offset as soon as this PID tune is done. Man, you didn't tell me this was going to take an hour. Well, I didn't remember. <laughs> and we had to go full bore with it too, huh? Yeah. All oh, my old saxophone floating around somewhere in from middle school. So is there not a chamber sensor? We don't have a chamber sensor there, configured. There's not one configured. There is one on the tool head board, but it doesn't get quite a great reading because mm -hmm. it's enclosed in there. I mean, it is in the chamber. Yeah. So we but could, we could have a fault. Falsely high. Because it's oh, there we go. It's such close proximity. There we go. Save config. <laughs> so where would the ideal part like? I usually put, put it, it up here and poke it out this last last link in the cable chain. Yeah, but I'm saying bend. you weren't putting it in the top, like where if you were just. Oh, you can put it at the back of the gan uh, in the back of the gantry or something yeah. would be fine. It's and then it's just you got to route it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to get this temperature, keep this temperature up. And we're going to get our hot end up to something. 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 Let's put this over here. So we can still... What are we doing? Okay, so that's going to do that. I'm going to home this thing. Home it, homie. Oh, I put the temperature too high. It needs to be 150. So, and all your stuff. So the, there's a there's an additional little snippet in the config that because of the tap and it uses the nozzle to probe on the bed. Yes. There's a little snippet in the config that's configurable, but it's set right now to not probe over 150 C. Oh, on the nozzle. Interesting. So if you try to do any function that's going to probe and you're over that, it'll give you an error here. Extruder temperature target of 160 is too high, lowering to 150. That's, oh, and, so, and it'll auto, and it'll, it'll, it'll auto, auto lower it and then do the do the thing. But that should be sufficient so. for what we need still, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just forgot about that. That's why I set it to 160. So we're gonna do our Z tilt adjust, yep. then rehome, and then we'll do the um, Z offset, the probe calibrate. Probe calibrate. Probe calibrate. Now they're saying Z offset, but because we're using nozzle as probe, we're gonna do the probe calibrate function. Okay. Okay. So that was quick, nice and trammed. We're gonna home, yeah. it, home all again. Trammed. I'm, I'm a little bit triggered by the, our. The I bed is not bed quite being not straight. on there. <laughs> right. And then um, let's go ahead and do three. I think that's going to be the most 
So probe calibrate is now gonna do um, verify its position, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna come up with an interface on here where now we're gonna move it, use this to move it down. So what did you do to initiate that? Probe calibrate. I, just, I, I ran probe, probe underscore, probe underscore, probe underscore calibrate. Probe calibrate. Right. And, now and, I'm gonna use this interface to move it down. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. We'll one more, and yeah. then we're gonna get our paper in here. Okay. And then we're gonna go in smaller increments. Granular. I'm going in 0.1 millimeter increments right now. So close. Yeah, that's really close. I, I know five. Oh, it's just touching. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Up. Uh, I'm gonna call that right there. Let me feel what you're feeling. It's a, maybe a little loose. Yeah, no, that's that's what I would. See yeah. what that feels like. A little better. Yeah. Yeah. We'd rather be slightly high, and then we can baby step down. Sure. Nice and toasty around. in there. Can I? Can We're I gonna the sheet? that? Can I move the sheet and save the config if you really want to? <laughs> let's let's go ahead. No, no, I don't. Board, <laughs> board. I burned my fingers. <laughs> So a um, couple of things about main cell interface here that we can do that'll make a couple of things a little better. Mm. If you go to the settings here yeah. and go down to um, presets, yeah. we can set up a real quick like um, a ABS slash ASA. Mm. And so like we can go 150 yeah, yeah. and 110 okay. and then store that preset. Yeah. And now you can go here to presets and just select that and it'll set those. And that's, and, of, and that's your uh, heat saturating setup, and so you let that. Yeah, and it's been heat soaking long enough. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna go for it because it's it's eight o'clock. It's time to go. <laughs> we gotta push plastic. But we gotta load plastic. Yeah. So, pull is over there. Oh no! Did it break? It broke the cardinal rule of three D printing, guys. What is the number one rule? <laughs> Don't let go of your end. Your spool and Do -do -do. time to print a boron cube. It was literally boiling hot. Okay, I'm good. You're good? Yeah. I know this stuff's a little brittle too, so it was okay, time to shine. Okay, what are we gonna do? I think here. So for those wondering what the heck I was just doing, if I let go of my end, I always unspool an unreasonably long amount of it to make sure that it's not knotted under itself as best as possible. Which is no 100% guarantee, but it's better than dealing with the angle of death. And where's your fleshies? And I'm gonna be right back one more time. All right. This is it, first load. Okay, let's extrude. And beef you up to proper temp. What is this? Temp spec. Uh, 260. Okay, I was just trying to load it in. Extrude. Grab me. Portion. Sometimes you have to. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Now no, the PTFP. See you, pathetic Puma. What's that? PTFP pop. What are you? Why did it? Oh. 
Did you hit the load load filament macro? No, I did not. Oh. It's just manually. Yeah. Should I? Where? Where? Yeah. Is now you don't want to hit it now because it'll extrude yeah. too fast. <laughs> I was just manually doing. Same things. temps as ABS. Yes. And yes, ABS, this ASA glass fiber is very brittle, but I have not had it break while printing. I've had it break while I was messing with it outside of the printer. Here we go. But not while printing. Alright, get my boogers out. Did you? Oh, good. You heated it up. So now we're gonna take back to our preset. Okay. Let it get down to temperature, and then we'll get everything. Um, redo our Z tilts and everything. Okay. And then print. Um. We can grab our G code file and add it. Oops. Upload it. Um, here. And here's our file. Does it feel similar to carbon fiber, stronger, weaker? It feels very similar. I just had a thought, set a reminder of kitchen and home assistant. I have Moonraker integration set up. Nice. I would like to see, it would be nice if Stefan did some tests on this filament. I'd like to see it. Yeah. This is going back down to 150. As soon as it gets down to 150, we'll pick the boogers and then <laughs> run the rest of the... Pick, set up pick the boogers. Uh -huh. So we'll talk a little bit about actual print setup, however you want to do it. Um, we'll go through my normal process right now because that's how the config is set up. But All right. I do a manual lead up to printing. Um, A manual lead up, okay. I, I do kind of all the manual prep before the, the slicer. All it does is do a purge line and yeah. it doesn't do homing and the Z tilt stuff okay. at a time. You like to do that manually? Mm -hmm. Why is that? Only because I haven't set it up. Oh. I, I haven't taken the time to set it up. Okay. Um, I don't think so, Jared, but I, I've kind of I, I've thought about it, but I don't think so, but we're going to see what happens anyway. Okay, we're down to temp. What was the question? Okay, so let's pick the pick the ooze. I, I, yeah, that'll be fine. And then go ahead and home. Home all Z tilt. Let me see if I can let me see if I can get in there on one between one of these and at least give a little bit of an alcohol rub down on it. Okay. So it's going to go around and do Z tilt adjust. I'm going to just get in here real quick in the area that we're going to be printing. <laughs> and hope that's enough. Smart. <laughs> the, this is a brand new bed or sheet yeah so it's probably it may need a, a dish soap scrub mm. the seasoning yeah oh now home all all right and then we're not even gonna run a bench we're just gonna print okay you say so mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and choose the, the G code files. Okay. And that one. Pinsky. And print. And then, yeah, well, it's a little closer that way. There we are. And then, and then you can go here to fine tuning. Okay. And then this is your. Um, oops, the. Uh, you did the, I actually? You, you did. You tapped yep. plus. Yep. So. Down one should get us back to where we were. Okay. Well, now it's now it's. Maybe it didn't register the phone. It's going. It's going minus 0 0.05, plus 0 0.05. Okay. See what happens once it's once it starts. Okay. You 60. That sound like loud motors there, Steve. They're not. In person, they're not. 
I don't think so. I think something is getting picked up by the microphones. Yeah, it is. We start printing here in a moment. So it's going to do a purge line on the front. Mm -hmm. A fairly. It's extruding. It's extruding. You did slice this for 0.6, yeah? I did. Okay. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's looking skirt. pretty good. That's a good looking. And that's going to be a tiny Serpinski triangle. That's all right. <laughs> What's the estimated time on it? It is 20. 21 minute oh look at plastic huh yeah yeah I'd, I'd say our first layer is great hold on don't jinx it there i want to show you something I'd else say it might be well hold on wow. uh, i can't tell if it's the fibers from the glass bill or if it just looks a little high to me is that better or a little yeah oh, yeah <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> oh, nozzle light. Yeah. Nozzle lights on. Oh, we didn't even test those before, did we? Well, they, oh, they were on. on. They were on. They were. They're yeah. Right. Okay. It's printing. So wait, how did you do the intensity? So in the macros, there's a there's a whole config file that controls that. But there's the set nozzle lights on. We can turn them off. Yeah. We should turn off here in a minute. Yeah. At the next. The, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Turn them on. Yeah, but then you made them brighter. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were red before. Oh, you had them. Uh, they were, the default was red. Okay. Now you can. These are just macros that you can put into any print start or whatever you want. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. That is a. Well, I don't think we need the baby step. No. I think we're we're no, right that's there. A beautiful first layer. I don't think we need the baby step at all. Wait, it doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't get much better than you got that. A printing printer. The printer is printing. Now, now it's now doing here goes some Hilbert. <laughs> well, that's fun to watch it dance on. Well, that's not Hilbert. That's the Serpinski triangle. That's actually the triangle. Yeah, it's, it's, it's base mode. Any, any it's it's yeah. base mode. I was, I was faked out by it. Any thoughts on the ERCF? I have built an ERCF, and I have done very beginning prints on it. I have not continued with it. I need to, um, but I also just ordered a 3D Chameleon. I, I talked to Bill. I talked to Bill and Murph. Yeah. And what are you gonna put it on? My mini. You I put think. it on the mini? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on the Prusa Mini. It's it's pretty brilliant in its simplicity. Yeah. Now I do want to return to the ERCF and do all the latest stuff because quite a bit has changed on it since I built it. The twitchy little guy. This this almost looks like a like a weird strobe <laughs> effect as it's jumping. I was looking. The reason I went to the other. Um, to the other room is because I have an extension for my camera here. Oh, here it is. Awesome. I'm, I'm just blocking have, it as I'm staring in there. Well, no, I've got a, I've got an extension here for my camera so I can get the webcam up. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me get this. Can you help me understand the bed mesh changes, specifically the addition of adding zero reference position? The, the reference, the index position, is that what you're talking about? The reference index position is when you're using a Z end stop, the separate, like the, like the, the micro switch at the back of the printer. And, um, and what that does is when you, when you do your, your Z offset calibration, um, you do that with the nozzle usually at the middle of the bed. So wherever you you did that calibration is what you want to set that Z reference index or that mesh reference index value to. And it starts with from zero in your bed mesh. So typically on a five by five, your value is 12. So just to make that shorter. Mm. Is it ready to be mounted on a chassis to make Battle Voron? Are we ready to put it on a chassis? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? That's... Also, I wanted to shoot darts as well and fire. Enhance, enhance. Is that better? That's not great just because uh, of the yeah. glare from the window. Can you get any tighter on it? Let's see. Let's 
let's just run biased forward. Yeah, yeah. Shim. Prince. Mitch 3D is here. Hey, Mitch. Mitch. It sure does. This is such a trip to watch. I, There's I no indication in main cell that relative reference index is going to be deprecated. If I use the Auto Z plugin, do I need to do anything? I don't think so. Put a dark cloth over the top of the front of the printer to shade the cam. I feel like we're losing. We're probably losing detail on it based on the size of the thing and, oh, and the, the point fix there. nozzle. Yeah. It's not too bad, our our view here with the camera. It's not too bad. There's a little bit of echo. Oh, hey, okay. maybe I can. <laughs> here, let's do this. Let's see if I go head on. Get a better look right down the. And then you get the seam there. Right, right there. That's okay. All right, let's see if we can. <laughs> too dark. There we go. <laughs> That's what we're doing. It's not terrible. <laughs> I've met boy George a couple of times. Facebook keeps suggesting him as a friend to add. We have some mutual friends. It's John Stern. I'm really curious about the big brain swapper. Seems interesting, especially since it's not supposed to use purge block. I haven't heard of that, the big brain swapper. Big brain swapper. I have no idea. This here is a Stupensky triangle. That is. That is what we're doing. It's a thing of beauty right there. This is um, glow in the dark, rainbow glow in the dark filament. That's fun. That's what I want. That was a Obsidian Beta print. It's a hell of a print. This was the vase mode still? So? It is. Oh. Yep. Isn't it amazing the vase mode does that? Yeah, it really <laughs> is. How does it look in the dark? Not a thousand millimeters per second yet. It looks pretty cool in the dark. I don't think I don't have a UV light handy. And I don't think we can easily get it dark enough in here. <laughs> I do have a UV light, I just don't know where it is. So what speed are we going at here? Oh, what does it say on the does it say on the it says hold on. Uh, 657 on the filament, so it's See. like between, it's between all, 20 and 60. That's all perimeters. Yeah. We can probably bump that. Yeah, don't mess with it, because it's only a 20-something. It's a very short print. Yeah. It's only going to take another little bit. Be taking shape. We're gonna lose a lot of detail with that, <laughs> with both the fuzzy filament and right. and the 0.6 nozzle. Probably not the best choice for this particular filament and nozzle size and stuff. Yeah. But I'm gonna show off more while we'll, we can. This is the stuff the printer's made out of. Any news come out of Murph? If there was anything big announced? I think there were some little things. Yeah? I mean, there was a plastic printing cocoa press. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Just a for funsies thing? Yeah. And then, uh, did you go to that Creality thing? I did not. No? I, no. No desire. No interest? No interest. I'm just curious that it's an interesting uh, thing for them to hold there. Have you tried the Clipper LED effect plug-in by Julian Schill? If not, you should. I should. If somebody pokes me on my Discord to remind me to check that out, I will. What is that? What is that like? It looks nice. I'm sure I'm convinced base mode is cheating when you're demoing a printer. Maybe. I'm sure the Creality thing was fun. I would, I would guess the most fun I would have from it is the other people that are there. Sure. But... 
Sure. Well, Dom, Dom's a social butterfly, so of course he, he's gonna get <laughs> Nero was trying to copy me with the Delta backpack. We saw that. We are on to the second tier of triangles. An LED effect, it's really nice with barf LED on stealth burner. My LED game is pretty, pretty poor. This should up my LED game. You're a practical LED guy. I am, very yeah, much so. You don't so. need like all the... Very much uh, so. Like, speaking of... You don't need the rave, like... Speaking of, why don't we have our... I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what a fun improvement. I'm surprised, and probably somebody's done it. Like, given that this all looks like speaker drills, it yeah. feels like it needs to play music as well. <laughs> or at least like oh. have the ability to like talk to you. Yeah. You can send like audio macros and... Your print is finished. One of the celestine sure. things was the printed Guitar Hero controllers. Oh, I didn't see those at all. That's cool. Huh. I love Guitar Hero. I didn't see those at all. I also missed there was a printer there that they called it a, a magnetic IDEX, an M IDEX. What does that mean? But and I just heard about it. I didn't and I saw pictures, but I didn't actually go and see it because I didn't know it was there. But um, it's basically the, the person had a two car two tool heads yeah. on the X rail. Sure. But there was a the it was one belt system with a carriage. Okay. And then it would come and grab. So it was a, oh, it's really a tool it's a changer. Tool changer. It's a tool changer. But it would just it would just go left. It just right. ha happens to have two tool heads. Sure, that's yeah. smart. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. I like that. Mm hmm. So and then that would have the benefit of potentially. It can it can span the entire. It, it just can't ditto print. So it's correct. A, it's just correct. a tool tool changer. It's, tool it's not an yeah. IDEX because you can't print it's not simultaneously, and they're not independently yeah. controlled. It's one or the other. Uh, Do you have your own Discord, or should I just tag you on the Voron server? I have my own Discord. So if you go to the description, there's a link to my Discord. And there's a there's a very specific Pope Steve channel that is intended to remind me about things that either I, I say I'm gonna do on Pope Steve sh on sh uh, stream or baby. whatever. Don't poke the baby. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't think we need to necessarily see the thing finish. No. So we can kind of wrap up. Let's wrap up. Let's wrap up, because it is getting late. Yeah, I accept the wrap up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta say, this has been a blast. It has been. Thank you so series. much for hosting it. Um, I, did, I had no idea how this was going to go when we I started went, talking about it. I think it went great. It was beyond my expectations. Well, and so. I agree, and I, I would not have gotten it done myself, or I would have, like... <laughs> you know, mess it up and had to redo it and it would have taken 10 times as long. So I'm genuinely saying. thank you for just gonna get guiding me. Real view here of the whole printer. Good, I got some Charlie hair to take you got with some Charlie. Too. Yeah, the, the panels will do that. So. Um, yeah, this is, this is awesome. So I guess a big thanks to um, everyone that made this possible. For sure. Again, so. thanks to the sponsors, LDO, Fabrico, CNC Kitchen. Love the filament. We love yeah. the kit. Like everything about this was just one of the most smooth and pleasurable builds. I had obviously a <laughs> fantastic guide to help along the way. And the quality is just top tier. And uh, honestly, like you know, troubleshooting, figuring stuff out. Thank you for customizing my oh yeah, a little bit plate. It's pretty slick. Yeah. And uh, I I'm over the moon, man. I could not be happier. So I can't wait to put this to good use. Yeah. In the shop. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing what you think, using it on your own, putting it into your workflow. Yeah. What what comes out of it? Yeah. And of course, let us know if there's anything. Let me know if there's anything that you have questions on. Yeah, I'll we'll call you tomorrow. It broke. I'm sure. I already broke I'm it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't drop it on the way from the car. Oh to the house. my God, that'd be so <laughs> tragic. So I want to say thanks, everyone. Thanks for all the gifted memberships. Um, thanks, Polymaker, for the regular filament giveaways. 
Um, we will be doing, I will be doing a stream from here on Saturday, June 31st, AKA July 1st. Um, so that'll be in Charlie's Angel stream. And then we're gonna do the, um, the Mark Four build on Sunday. Oh, that's exciting. I'm gonna tune in because I wanna watch that. I, yeah. I, I just got, I did the lazy one this time. I just got the kit. So I wanna the see pre the pre-built. Yeah. So I wanna see this for sure. Yeah. Um, guys, thank you for putting up with me and all my singing <laughs> and random terrible jokes and all that stuff. I know it's not the usual thing you get when you're tuning into a professional like Steve, but uh, it's been a real blast. Was... It's, it's always nice to have a sidekick, uh, yeah. uh, somebody to chat with and, and make the build go yeah. fast, honestly. I, mean, go. I know we did it five times, but that was rad. Good we job. did a good job. Good job. Looks good night, great. everybody. Thanks. Good night, everyone. Oh, I gotta grab my mouse way over here. And this time I'm not gonna hard cut the stream. Yeah. See ya.